Let me hit start. Okay, so welcome to a Fired Emblem Tabletop. Last time, you guys uh, helped Lothair get to Broggy Tower with you all. Um, you set her up in a knife, nice knife, a nice safe space, uh, hopefully, um, because the sure. beasts cannot get through the door as far as you know. Um, you guys made sure she was comfortable. I believe some conversations were had. Um, Valente got big owie. Valente uh, might have been mm -hmm. having a bad time. Um, mm -hmm. But she's better now. Kind of. Um, kind of yeah. Uh, other than that, you guys decided to go to Finbar. Um, yeah, you went to the camp and then to Finbar, uh, where you found out about the merchant festival that's going on. So there's a bunch of merchants, they're all peddling their wares, um, and one specific one of interest you took note of was the dark carriage that no one else seems to be approaching, um, where someone named the Benefactor is trying to give people stones that will transform them into some manner of beast. You got your first son as a, uh, assigned, um... <laughs> And you saw that Atore is apparently working there uh, yeah. as an assistant. Um, he seems he mm -hmm. seems like he's doing well for himself, and he did remember you. But that's mm -hmm. where you guys are right now. Um, I believe we left off right after you like stopped talking to uh, Atore, so you still have the mm -hmm. whole rest of the festival to look at. Oh, oh yeah, and um, Val had to be convinced out of buying a <laughs> giant catfish. For Ardle. Yeah, for the baby. Ardle, who mm -hmm. is perhaps more of a menace that you knew uh, originally. <laughs> knew. Aminals. Aminals. Mm -hmm. Points at Aminals. Chaos. <laughs> yeah, Octavia and Ardle both going, like, in the same thing as the aliens mean Aminals. Aminals. <laughs> but, um, yes, Ardle, Ardle sure does love Aminals. But the rest of the festival is ahead of you. Um, lots of shops. You can pretty much buy whatever you need here within reason. Um, so if there's anything you guys would like, I'm just going to go right down the line. Um, Val, what are you up to now? We are at Crawford's house? No, you're at the festival. The festival. Is there anything you'd the like to pick festival. up? Oh! Hi, I'm s my brain. No, it's okay. Me too. <laughs> um, <laughs> booed. That stands for booed. Hold on. <laughs> Where's the list of things? There is no list of things. This is a general festival. Um, oh, I thought there was. Would a list you of like things. to see the combat list? The list of combat items. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was referring to. Hold on. And then there's also, you can look around, there's other stalls here. There's, like, food, there's clothing, anything you could feasibly want to buy for your character. It will cost money, but, uh, mm -hmm. ask, and I will tell you if it's there. Mm hmm Um. Hmm. I think Gare was threatening to get something for Valente's birthday. Yeah. He was. Yeah. But Valente um, doesn't need to know that. <laughs> Yeah, you no, do notice Gare idly wanders away from you. He uh -huh. told her. He was like, I'm getting you something. Yeah. And she was like, fine. <laughs> um, I don't know if... Yeah, I think Val's just... Like, Val doesn't really need anything. He likes his clothes. Oh! Um... He'll get some... Care? He'll get some... Uh... Some new... Like a... He's gonna get some clothes for garlic for when they are in the cold. Mm, horse clothes. Yes, mm -hmm. there's definitely a horse clothes vendor here. What 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 does garlic's new clothes look like? Um Let me see if they have like clothes for your horses. They've got like little blankets. Horse and stuff. sweater. Yeah. Like you put yeah. a, like a, yeah. a blanket over. Sorry, there. the first thing I see is a Horse in a suit. Yeah, I've seen um. that picture before. I do think garlic would he would slay. Hmm. 
This is also, I think, our opportunity to get beach clothes for the yeah. beach episode. Yes. Um, it's like a, so it's like a, um, it's like a blanket, basically, that you tie around the horse's body. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's, it's a very thickened, like, almost like a downy coat. Um, mm -hmm. and it is, um, the same teal as Valente's, you know, signature color. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Cute. Cute. All right. Uh, that's going to cost you, let's say, 100 gold. Okay. That's reasonable. 100 gold for horse clothes. All right. Uh, Edwin, well, price anything to pay you're for looking garlic for? warmth. Trikey. Uh oh. I assume Trikey's parents are here. Yeah. <laughs> Would they like to buy anything from the festival? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's give Trikey a second. Just so that uh, he knows what's going on. I'm stacking my dice. If you hear clicking, that's why. That's cool. I love stacking. Why do I have an extra D20? Where did I get this pretty big? Sorry. Did the call uh -oh. got really cool. Yeah, we, we you're, hear you. You're, you're, uh, I get the idea of what you're saying. It's cutting in and uh, out. Uh, hmm. I'm Mitch freaking lost him. Um Did he just say help? I <laughs> think he said oh and then it cut off. Uh, uh well try try Um well Donna just went pee, so I'm gonna go clean her litter box and I'll be right back. Yeah, okay, good. In the litter box, I was gonna say. Sounds a good. Yeah, peed in the litter box. I love how they unmuted just to specify that when, like, <sighs> you didn't have to. It'd be more of an emergency if it wasn't in the litter box. Yeah, no, exactly. I also, the NPCs would all like to make purchases, so they will be doing so after the players get their chance to uh, go shopping. Tell all right. The various things they want to buy. Don't let Arl purchase unsupervised. Does Arl even have any money? He he wouldn't, right? I don't think so. He is six I six years old. Six year olds, you'd be surprised. Six year olds, they'd be like, "I have two dollars," and then like try to show oh. him off. Oh, uh, try to just let the go. Trikey, no! If we need to reschedule, that's fine by me. Like if he, we we, were, we initially said we can do it a different day, and yeah, he just went offline. Fight, so... That's not a good sign. Oh, is he on the laptop or phone? Oh no, we're we... here. Oh, uh... hello, hi, Trikey. Hi, hi. Mm. Having Welcome some back. internet troubles. Yeah, it was just, I was like, oh, I'll just use Data for a second while uh, while the internet is being crunchy, and then Data was like, no, you won't, so. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's you... fine now, though. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, well then, points. Edwin, anything you'd like, yeah. excuse me, anything you'd like to buy? Um, I was, hold on, I was getting my sheet to see if I have money, even. Oh yeah, I was looking up to see if Arnold has any money. Uh, I think the last time Octavia gave him ten gold. Arnold has ten fucking dollars. He has ten <laughs> fucking dollars. He can do with that as he so wishes. <laughs> Going to back a child, to that's pen. like <gasps> Aminals. <laughs> yeah. I think Edwin is probably just looking at food. They got food too, right? They do have foods. There's a lot of different like vendor stands. Um yeah. a lot of fried and grilled things. Yeah. And a funnel cake. Yeah. <laughs> the 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 food kiosk uh experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Meats on sticks, you know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Edwin, uh you can grab some food if you wanna just fork over like five gold for some food. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
He sorry Octavia and like you, Octavia and Volente's cooking is like great, but you gotta eat something else sometimes. Understandable. Have a nice day. Cruel and evil mm-hmm. and mean. Edwin walks kidding. up and he's got like a whole raw shrimp on a stick. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah, you don't understand what a <laughs> just a prawn. Classy people oh, eat. It's it's just, the uh, dragon buy, like a kebab or two. Mm, yeah. Raw meat. He yeah he probably does get more food than he needs because like. Also, not that we're, like, running out of food, but we are eating, like, rations and what food we can uh, buy or get from other people. So, like, Mm -hmm. sometimes you just gotta eat your body weight in protein. (laughs) Sometimes it do be like that. (gasps) Edwin's gonna have a tummy ache. Oh, definitely. (laughs) Dark Souls font stomach hurt. (laughs) All right, Octavia, what are you uh, looking for at this festival? Okay, I I have different things. It's really, the one thing for Octavia is a bathing suit. Mm -hmm. I think everyone needs one of those. Yeah, everyone needs a bathing suit. Probably Octavia was thinking, oh, Ira could do it. Wait, but we're probably only staying here for like a night. And that's a quick turnaround. Maybe... I shouldn't ask Ira. Do they have bathing suits? <laughs> yeah, there's like a there's like a clothing. There's different. I'm gonna say um, departments of this festival. <laughs> like all the clothing uh-huh. stripped in one area, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Oh sweet. So like at the yeah, back okay. of the clothing section, you can see that like there's a big like I guess not a bucket, <laughs> like a big like a big pile of uh, summer clothing that's for less money because you know it's. Winter. It's not yeah. summer. It's not summer. So <laughs> little I guess do I, they know. Little do they know. Um, Octavia probably starts picking out things for everyone, including Ardell. <laughs> Just picking out, like, okay, okay, you can wear this. And she she does get like a full coverage summer outfit for Godfrey. <laughs> uh Ardell's and gonna, for Edwin. Ardell's gonna wander up behind you. Um, closely tailed by Gare. Um, and Ardle, he's picking through what you've, uh, picked out. Um, he approves. Mm-hmm. He'll, he'll wear anything. He's six. Um. Hooray! Uh, and I think Octavia- Sorry, go No, ahead. you go, you go, you go. Okay, I think Octavia's like, do you want to pick out another outfit just for yourself? It doesn't have to be for the beach. Uh, Ardle is going to get to work just kind of- picking through the pile, seeing what's there, and Gare uh, sidles up next to you and reaches for a patterned shirt with little dragons wearing sunglasses on it. Uh, and he picks it up and he says, Is this beach appropriate? It's a Hawaiian shirt. We're gonna be around the only people there, so chase your bliss. <laughs> Uh, he hums sagely, uh, and then pays the man for the shirt. Uh, Arnold grabs one that's basically matching, but small. Oh, oh, that's so cute! (laughs) Oh, that's so cute. (laughs) I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take ten gold out of Gear's sheet. Okay. But I'm guessing it is it gonna be roughly ten gold for everyone to get swimsuits and yeah, summer wear. Yeah. Okay, so that goes into leaving gear out seventy gold. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Mm, just let me. I'm gonna do calculations because now this is not dealing in one hundreds, <laughs> just in case. Godspeed. Godspeed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and then Archibald, what are you- Wait, uh, I'm not done uh, yet. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry, I'm not done yet. Do they have coffee? Women be shopping. Um, Women do be shopping. I want Godfrey to have actual coffee utensils. Yeah, they got the whole food section. They've got, like, not just, you know, the, uh... They have cookware. Yeah, they've got cookware, they've got ingredients. Ingredients. Mm, Ingredients. They've got, like, imported shit. Uh, Octavia's first gonna look and see if she could make sure all her spices and her little spice box are 
filled. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then she's gonna go to get coffee beans, a new grinder, a sieve, and probably, like, a glass that it would go into the sieve to make drip coffee. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, all together, that'll probably cost you, like, 100 gold. Okay. That's a whole bunch of things. And that's with your spices as well. Oh, sweet. Okay. Then... I would say that she's about to go, it's like, yes, I got it. And then she sees, like, the dessert stand. It's like, There's absolutely a dessert stand. Mm. And she goes and gets something there. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. now she's done. You could you could take another ten gold up. Cool. <laughs> Octavia is purchasing. Yeah, Octavia. What kind of dessert does Octavia something. like? Oh, I think it's something like if they have it, it's like a parfait. Mm, yeah, they probably have parfait. Yeah, they got parfait that. with like fruit and cream. Mm. That sounds so it's good. The... Fuck. I me. know. <laughs> what if I door dashed it? No, I can't. <laughs> um, Honestly, I might because I had a late lunch, so I didn't eat before this. I'm like, mm. I'm kind of thinking about having a fourth fudge cube, but you know. Um. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, all right, Archibald, anything you're looking for? Uh, no. I mean, Archibald has, as ever, minimal material desire. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have, like, a swimsuit, but I'm not sure he really fully grasps the concept Octavia given his history. Got you one. So he's gonna fi- and, out. Yeah, he's gonna find that out. <laughs> uh, uh, so he's not really, th- I guess he's just sort of wandering vaguely to see what's around. Okay. What, uh, what's like? You stumble upon Amalthea standing in front of a Curious looking little table. What you looking at? Uh, she points at all the items on the table, which appear to be fanciful jewelry from across the continent. She says, Remember this guy? What? Oh. From behind the table, it- Pierre, the jewelry salesman, waves at you. Oh. Shit, hi. Hello there. Back again? Mm -hmm. Did you... Wait, I can't remember. Sorry, did you say you were around here all the time, or do you just happen to... I come by every couple of months. It's a good place to sell wares. Huh. Or just two for two on timing, then, I guess. Mm -hmm. More like two for five, but it's okay. Well, we've only been here to... Yeah, point taken. Uh, anyway. Would you like yeah. to see what I have in stock? Sure. Why not? He uh he waves at his uh stand full of various jewels. And there's, of course, most of the table is covered by just normal jewelry. Um, You know, rings, necklaces, bracelets, that sort of thing. And then a special raised tray... Full of carefully organized uh, finery with perhaps strange and mystical effects. Damn. Hmm. So, what you got up here? Hmm. What's this stuff? Well, uh,. Some of it's the same as last time, but I have a few new items that you can take a look at. Um, And he starts showing you the items. So what he has in stock is he has the Tiara of Flames, which is a tiara that is decorated to look like fire. Um, A lacy looking ring. um, Earrings that have feathers dangling from them. A headband that appears to have two cat ears. Um... A nose piercing that is a little bit sharp looking. And um, a set of glittery earrings. 
so do they do the judging my experience with your shop before these uh special i assume oh yes very special what do they do would you like to try any of them out it's not a you try it, you buy it sort of thing oh, of course not no Hmm. He'll Archibald will reach out and pick up the fire crown thing. Okay. Uh, when you put it on, you notice a it's slightly warm, not warm enough to actually burn you, but you feel that it has its own warmth. Um, and then the very ends of your hair begin to spark and appear as if they are burning, uh, with green flame. Green flame. Fascinating. Does this thing have a name, or is this just the, it's the tiara, the tiara of flames? flames? Just, just the tiara of flames, I see. Now, don't mm -hmm. worry, it's not real fire. Can't actually pose a danger to you. Yeah, I'm noticing that. Very popular with uh, Thracian nobles back in the day. Really? Oh, I'm sure it's gone far out of fashion now that nobody's actually in the capital, but eh, I still carry some old stock. It's just no abilities in their styles sometimes. Like, let, let's all go around lighting our heads and making it look like our heads are on fire. That's eh, historical events and all that. They influence things. Oof. <laughs> Archibald makes a woof, uh, sort of expression, saying, like, "Yeah, tell me about it." Hmm. Let's see. I'm reading through my list of what was. Uh... That is a very sharp-looking piercing there. Uh, which one are you looking at? You said there was like a nose piercing that yes, was sharp. There's or a it is a nose piercing and when he pulls it up, um, it becomes obvious that this is doesn't go all the way through your nose. I was to going that? to get I was going to get around to that investigation later, don't worry about it. Uh, sorry. Excuse me. Responding to the, responding to the chat. Uh, slash peanut gallery. Uh, <laughs> oh. No. Yeah. Um. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> DM derailing her own session. What? Uh, I think about uh, this thing. What is this? Would you like to try it out? It's only a clip-on. Hence not going through the nose. Sure. Let's see. Uh, you don't immediately notice anything different. Pierre says, give us a smile! Oh, this is gonna be strange, isn't it? So Archibald slowly opens his teeth looking at Amalthea to smile at her. Amalthea uh, grins. She says, you've got fangs now. I guess yeah. it doesn't look too different on you because you sometimes have fangs anyway. <laughs> and then she covers her mouth and looks at Pierre who just kind of just like makes a face like, man, kids are weird. Very funny, he says, uh, laughing with a slight chuckle. That's totally fake. Totally a fake chuckle. It's like it's a uh, <laughs> you fucking idiot. This is hard of. Amalda uh, takes her you and puts it on her own nose to reveal that she too now has vampiric esque fangs. Oh, threatening. She puts up her hands in claw like gestures, as if to say, "I'm gonna get you." She could. She she could get someone like that. That would work. Uh, 
Let's see. She puts it back. Uh, there was that. There's also a ring, a headband, uh, earrings. Two sets of earrings, actually. Yeah, there's the feather earrings and the... What was the other one? Uh, the sort of crystalline earrings. Hmm. Let's see. I have this fit. Look, I, I'm noticing a trend here. If I put, if so, one of us were to put on these things, he says, pointing at the feathers. Would we start to? Would we suddenly have feathers in a place we didn't previously have feathers? Pierre shrugs knowingly. Try it out. Ar Archibald Don't looks worry. at Amalthea Quick balls like. Also. Or Archibald gives Amalthea a look like you wanna. <laughs> Amalthea goes for the earrings. Uh, she already has her ears pierced, but it doesn't matter because these two are clip-ons. She puts them on uh, and promptly sprouts orangey feathers from the sides of her head where hypothetically uh, her ears would be. Ha <laughs> ha! What? Okay, not where, I, not, where I, not where I expected them to come out of. Wait, what do you All mean? Right. Uh, are these, like, physical wings or just illusory? Uh, they're illusory. You can definitely, like, if you concentrate, you could tell that you're touching her ear, but your brain is telling you you're touching feathers. It works very similarly to the, uh, pendant of false appearances. Hmm. You got wow. wings. Nice air reference. Sorry. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, I got wings now. Look at that. What on my oh on my head? Ugh. Yep. She takes the earrings off. I don't need feathers there or anywhere really. Eh. All right. Uh. I have a feeling I know what the cat one's going to do. What the what the ears are going to do. Amalthea looks at you expectantly. Yeah. Here, let me see. How much are these, by the way, he asks as he puts Everything's the ears gold. on. Shit. Um, yeah, he's he puts on the cat ears as he says it. Uh, Amalthea begins cackling uh, as you feel something furry touch your hand and if you move to look you realize uh, it's an illusory cattail. Does it come from my it butt does. or does it come from my... Okay. Uh, I was going to say head for the record. <laughs> I was gonna say head. Does it come from my like head, or because oh, no. the wings came from the head? That's what I meant. Not you know other things. <gasps> she says, "I like that one. That one's funny." That one is very funny, and I assume this is also an illusory tale. His mm -hmm. vibe seems yeah, no, to be it's illusory. All, it's all gag yeah, gifts, basically. Is he a human? <laughs> I don't know. It's a terrible role. He's a human. Okay. Uh, <laughs> cool. It's like a three. He's he's a human. Uh, just a fascinating guy. Uh, illusory tale. It's green. Now what did the... It's green? The tail. Hmm. Like your hair. Like a cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amalthea mumbles something go, about a garbage Catholic, cat. Go. About what? A garbage cat. <laughs> yeah, sure, kid. And he takes it and plops it on her head. Uh, <laughs> yep. She's been catted. The ears twitch, too, now that you have them not on your own head. Oh. Look at that. Ears animate and everything. Meow! 
I want to buy this, actually. You have the money for it? She looks in her pockets, and she hands over 100 gold. Well, all right, then. Now, I guess, what's... Look, I don't, I don't want to be that guy at the shop, but I do want to know what everything here does out of pure curiosity, if nothing else. I feel like I'm going to buy something from you. That's, I'm telling I, you that. I remember you've bought something already, and, well, she just bought something, so please, take all the time you want. Try everything yeah. out. I want my customers to be satisfied. He puts on the lace ring first. Okay, um, you don't immediately notice anything, but you feel a little bit tingly on your arms. See, the other ones, it was all kind of obvious what they would do in some, like the pointy one made your teeth pointy, the animal ones made an animal thing. So what does, and he slowly peels back the, the like, sleeve of his coat. Uh, you notice that your arms are now covered in, like, white ink tattoos that look vaguely like flowers and intricate lace patterns. Does that have any significance? Like, is it, is it a reference to something, or does uh, it mean it does something? it seem to be. Huh. What did you say this one was called? This is just a lace ring? Ring of lace. Comes from, hmm. uh, Donna. Ah. From Donna? Donna How'd you... Donna, whatever you call it these Donna, days. Donna, Donna, yeah, I know, language. Where'd you, uh... Well, how, how'd you end up there? Isn't that, like, war zone right now, or... Oh, I've had this thing for years. It was uh, only a war zone in the past couple of months. And, well, I don't think I'd go back there now, but... They need stuff, too. Uh, well, need's a strong word. They want fun items. The people... Oh, pe do people properly still live out there? In... Yeah, it's a whole city. Kidding me? Oh. Well, yeah, you know, it's just... Historically, it's had a lot of... They're big on magic over Duff. there. Yeah. Big religious Yeah. Thing. So do the tattoos or our markings, like, mean Well, anything? I think it's a local flower to them, but I couldn't tell you what it means. You'd have to ask a local. Right. Interesting. All right. He's, he puts it down, but he puts it down, like, on the side of the table, like, he's thinking about that one mm -hmm. uh and then he looks over at the i guess the last thing left is the crystal earring right the crystal earrings uh and the jeweler looks at you kind of apologetically and says those are not clip-ons uh. <laughs> amalthea looks arch of a, arch of... do you want to try it or am i gonna have to just sort of deal with this I mean, I was going to offer, but I kind of want to know whether you'd be getting your ears pierced. I think you'd look good! I don't You've think you You've got more quite... ear than most people. I don't... <laughs> I don't... And he pauses, and without moving at all, just sort of in, at an angle where hair can't see, stares at Amalthea... And just I bold, I slowly just bold, like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> this is twice now. <laughs> she rolls her eyes, says, fine, fine, I'll do it. Um, and she takes the earrings, uh, and she takes her own out again. She puts those in, and when she looks back up at you, she looks completely different. She looks like she just put on a 30-step makeup routine. Whoa. And her hair is perfect. What? What did it do? Um. You look like you had a full team of handmaids helping you get ready for a ball for the last several hours. 
Whoa. And then she kind of like cranes her neck to look in. So the jewelry, in order to make it look really shiny and pretty, it's on like those flat mirror shelves. Um, and she kind of like, <laughs> at the worst possible angle, looks at down at her face. She says, whoa, eyeliner. I like this thing. Yeah, that's that one's like. I really most want of the... you to try it though. Come on. Come on. I don't want to get blood She's gonna make on a persuasion it. Persuasion check on you. I don't want to get blood on this man. <laughs> She's gonna stuff. make a persuasion check on you. Okay, she can. I don't know if she's very good at persuasion. Here, let's see. I don't know. It's skill, right? Yeah, it's skill. She has good skill. Archibald probably She has will win. so much skill. Ooh, oh. Archibald, go ahead and roll. <laughs> what am I rolling? Uh, you can make a conviction check, or you can try to counter her with something else. What do you want to counter her with? I guess it'd be persuasion, right? Because he's just saying they don't that? want to get blood on the thing. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. It's not a good roll. Uh, plus eight. Bad roll. Plus eight. Seventeen. Uh, she quietly takes the earrings off. She says, "Can you hold on to these for one second for me, to Pierre?" <laughs> and she looks at Archibald and says, "I'll be right back." Um, and then she runs over to the food stalls where Edwin is. Oh, no. <laughs> Edwin! I need a healer? No one's hurt. Yeah. Don't worry. Um, oh. Oh, my oh, God. No. Okay. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. It's really important, right. I promise. All right. Edwin will go with her. All right. Uh, you arrive and find Arch and Pierre. She, Arch is just looking at Pierre. Is like, oh, she's still wearing the cat. The cat, everything. By the way, <laughs> she paid. She paid she for paid that, for right? It. Yeah, she, she did pay for it. Yes, but Edwin, you see Amalthea, cat ears, cat tail, sprinting up to yeah. you, asking for a medic. Yeah. <laughs> Something's gone horribly wrong. Like, cool. <laughs> We're fucking. Hold on. Hold time. on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah. can I make I want to make like a perception check to so, to tell if I can to see if I can tell that the cat ears are not the problem that she needs to make <laughs> yeah 18, 18 I think yeah yeah she doesn't she doesn't seem hurt or anything she just yeah is asking the cat you. ears the tail is fake yeah. we are okay it looks Amalfia very real, didn't but get it is... into the benefactor's supplies while we weren't looking <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> well, he's like, oh, oh I'm no. gonna become a cat girl, come hell or high water. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, while, while Malti is over there, have you seen that guy in the, like, cart around here with the, all the weird animal stuff? The mount vendor? Is that what he's called? Well, the guy with the horses, right? No, no, um, oh, what was his cart called? Uh... What was, what was the card called? Meta? No, that's, uh, wait, it's like the watcher. I think we just know he's the benefactor. Yeah, he's the benefactor. No, but, no, 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 but isn't, like, the watchers something? No. The cult no. of the watchers right here? La, 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 that's la, not the la. watchers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't have a name. It was just yeah. a covered wagon. No, oh, covered wagon. Dude wears a white hat. Oh, Always the benefactor. Yeah. yeah, the benefactor. I didn't know if everyone referred to him as oh, benefactor. Yeah, I mean, he's always there. Not even, not just during festivals. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what kind of deal he struck with somebody to get a space in the park. Um, probably without a license, but you know, not my business. He seems <laughs> shady. So. Archibald, like Archibald, in the back of his mind, like. Beatrix. <laughs> <laughs> make it. It's like this. I just imagine it's the same tone in Dragon Jaws, like, make it. Yeah, that was exactly the go that was exactly what I'm going for, just like 
just like it, okay sir uh just like the lieutenant or whatever to the king walking up and saying i hear someone's been operating without a license doing some weird animal blood magic i'm gonna have to ask you to shut this down and he's like well my craft compressing animal animal hearts down into crystals and using them to give people the powers of beasts like ooh yeah kind of a <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes. Yes. Good kind of hey, that kind of fucks <laughs> <laughs> who knows but yeah he shrugs and says i don't know i never see anyone hanging around there at least people i wouldn't get near so did you buy anything from them no, no, then I'm just fascinating guy. Oh, I'm sure. Didn't seem bad. Just fascinating. Hmm. Gotta wonder what he looks like under all those uh bulky clothes, but I'm not gonna pry. Yeah, yeah. And at that moment, uh, Amalthea drags Edwin into view. Um, and Amalthea points at Archibald and says, He needs to get his ears pierced. Oh, Archibald just sort of sees Edwin being dragged over. It's like you don't have to get okay. No, 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 it's okay. I'll do the piercing, and no. then Edwin just no, feels no, no, it no, 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 no. Here, I'm. Let me stop you there for a second, okay? And he takes uh two hundred gold for the lace ring and the earring, puts it <laughs> on the desk. It's like <laughs> before this happens, just you know. Getting. <laughs> I've never getting had someone get their away. ears pierced right in front of my table, so uh, yeah, sure, I'll I'll we can take it. We we can go somewhere else. Maybe Octavia would be good at it. I can do it. You see my ears? She points at her ears. Yeah, well, that's fair. I've done this for like I guess fifty people. Archibald, just stand still. Yeah, I guess you are probably pretty qualified. She climbs up onto a nearby wooden box to reach out. Okay, I was just gonna... <laughs> well, okay, I was... I Notice I never said no to having my... As she's doing this, he's like... <laughs> notice I never said no to the concept of trying them on at all. It's... I... Uh, you're... Okay, you're Evan, do you have a sewing this. needle or anything? Or like well, a really sharp stick. I Archibald pulls out a I, sewing needle. Is like, yeah. Fuck you. thank you, hey, kid. Oh no! You feel Why a did jab. I give you? Oh, you didn't even colorize <laughs> that. And then you feel oh, a second okay. jab. Ow! Oh, well, you gotta put ah. the earrings. You gotta put the earrings in so the ah. ceiling doesn't just close. Them. Yep, she jams them in. Ah. <laughs> Uh, well, they look like, pretty even. She did do a good job. Uh, Archibald, what is your ideal, uh, just like, 100% good-looking ideal Archibald look like? <laughs> your fanciest Archibald. Clothes included or not no, included? No, not included. Just your face and hair. Just your, your flesh. Uh, hmm... Good question. I feel like the scraggly hair becomes more of a like luxurious noble mane sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like yeah, just yeah, sort yeah. of the the longer like instead of just be same like rough length and everything, but instead of being parted crudely, it's perfectly sort of like drawn back over the ears or whatever. Mm -hmm. And just like, you know, uh what I, I don't know enough about makeup to know how it's actually done, but whatever fuckery is done to make his face look a bit less um little foundation. Peasant shaped. Yeah, a little yeah. foundation, a little contour. <laughs> but yes, shape. Uh, what a word. Amalthea backs away from Archibald. Uh, her cat ears were previously blocking the view, and Edwin, you're confronted with an Archibald that looks something like some sort of fairy tale dragon prince. <laughs> Something, yeah, Bleeding for, for from Sam, both ears. For Sam, for Sam's <laughs> reference, and for no one, literally no one else's. You've seen the sprite of what his brother looks like. Yeah. That, but like uh, that sort oh, of style. Oh, that's that's oh, oh my god! Oh, now 
love Sam. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and we're more feels bad, like man. Now this feels that. bad. <laughs> hey, no, it's people who are related look yeah, alike. They look similar. Yeah. They look yeah. alike. Yeah. Amaldia steps back, putting a hand on her chin as if to observe her artwork. She says, <laughs> Yeah, they're almost even. <laughs> I. Maybe if we weren't talking so much. I can try again. Yeah. Oh, no. I can just heal them if you want. She raises her needle and creeps towards you. <laughs> uh, I feel the need to point out that I. Got the healing for a needle in the ear, mostly covered. Yeah, that's He fair. says, brandishing the ring on his fingers. Like, yeah. I don't... <laughs> Ow. A little bit. But no. Well, I think How... you're pretty good, Archibald. What are you going to use this ring for? <gasps> are you going to take what? Octavia on a fancy date? <laughs> Eyes emoji. Sheppy, are you breaking down? <laughs> no, Archibald. This my silence is Archibald's silence. He just sort of <laughs> he's just looking back at her like you, you little <laughs> scheming. Uh, she it. does look perhaps a little bit scheming. <laughs> we do a little scheming. Oh, no. Yeah. I think you should okay. go talk to Octavia. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important to plan. update each other on our finances after all. You just spent like 200 gold. So. <laughs> you should he, go do that. He pa he pauses at what he was about to say for that because like, fuck, you fucking what? Uh, <laughs> but I was so like, You must know I was thinking about uh, surprising her with how they worked, especially because she has ear piercings, and you know that's yeah. that's. I figured that would be that was sort of my intended case for this before the stabbing. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. a little stabbing's necessary to get through the day. You know how it is. Ow. Oh, I. I sure. Yeah. No, I mean, yes, I did. Sorry. Uh, well, I think it looks good, so she'll like it. Sorry, I just, um, sorry, I have my, like, documents open on the side. Remember earlier when I said Sam left a comment on one of my documents and she was mm -hmm. like, what? I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. No, so I just saw this. The comment said it's from December 31st, 1969. <laughs> I had I to tell it. you. I had to warn you. <laughs> what the hell? Future Sam time traveling? Yeah. No. Back Wait. to the future. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's just Sam outside the DeLorean with a spud. <laughs> <laughs> but as Archibald ponders um, his newfound yossification and yeah. a relationship with Octavia, uh, Amalthea tugs on like Edwin's little cloak and she says, lean mm -hmm. down. <gasps> what? Lean down. Okay. She puts the cat ears on you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone must wear cat ears. I don't ears. think they have yeah. green cats in nature that's okay she takes it back <laughs> edwin's perfectly fine with not being a creature for five seconds get cat boy mm. idiot. <laughs> all right anyone else want to buy anything from this mysterious stand not mysterious you know this guy by now what all yeah. was there? There was like the fire tiara. There was the fire tiara and, and the earrings that give you feather ears. Ah. Uh, Edwin. No, I think Edwin has those. enough feathers. Uh 
Mm. Oh, and the thing that gives you fangs. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was drained. Alright. Um, as everyone reconvenes, if no one else wants to buy anything, everyone reconvenes. Did, uh, did Godfrey and Gare go shopping? Uh, Gare did go shopping. He got a shirt. Yeah. Gare, <laughs> Gare wandered off on his own and has mm-hmm. returned with a small baggie of something. Um, oh. And Godfrey has also wandered off on his own and has returned with a fishing lance. Ooh, nice. cool. A harpoon, if you are spear, fish it's, spear. Yeah, it's just a spear. Yeah. Harpoon. Spear. Hell yeah. Good for him. Good for him. Getting back to his roots. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not that any of us except Valente know that. But... Yeah. <laughs> That's meta knowledge. Meta knowledge. Yeah. We're all uh, just staring at Godfrey holding his stabby uh, pointy yeah, thing. He, are you gonna go fishing at the beach? <laughs> what else do you do at the beach? I mean, fair. That That is an option. I'm like, sandcastles. I mean, there's gonna I be thermal read. pools. Yeah, you could do reading, too. I might write some letters. Oh! Actually, Octavia looks quickly through her spare cloth. That she has like a little bit of yellow cloth. It's like okay, never mind. I don't need to go anywhere else. Oh, right. Um, I'm gonna make a Reginald for Ardle. Ardle, who is close by, just kind of looks at you befuddled. Like, what is a Reginald? Uh, the fish. <gasps> fish. <laughs> yeah. It, it might take a little bit, but he, he shouldn't be too hard to make. He hops up and down a little bit, clearly struggling to contain his excitement. <laughs> oh, also, Godfrey, next time we're at your house, and she just gives him all the coffee materials that she bought for him. He looks at them completely befuddled. What is this? <laughs> it's how you make good coffee. <laughs> uh. Seems like an excess of steps. It's calming. And it's like when you're building something. It still gives good results when you do this. Also, here's stuff for the beach. And she hands him also his summer clothes. <laughs> and ha- and starts handing everyone else summer clothes. Uh, <gasps> Godfrey's gonna take his and just like look at it like he's been handed some sort of wet animal from the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is covered. It is all covered. <laughs> Do you know how hard it was to find summer clothes that covered both legs and arms? <laughs> I did it. Well, thanks, I guess. You're welcome. Okay, everyone, you you everyone gets some too. And I think as she's about to pass it to Archibald, she just realizes like, oh, you got earrings. Uh, oh, yeah, wearing I, for, them? I, I, for, I forgot I forgot about the Archibald forgot about those uh, <laughs> man, I forgot about those that was from uh, Pierre you know the guy oh Pierre is here oh. yeah, Archibald yeah. would you like to make an insight check uh oh <laughs> no it's, it's uh, funny <laughs> yes, he, I mean yeah no, I know uh oh <laughs> oh no uh, uh, less uh oh and more uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. It's an 11. <laughs> Octavia's got to blush in a bit. <laughs> Aww. Wait, and I need now, to and, and <laughs> now, and now, no, so does it. he. Aww. <laughs> 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 Edwin's not paying attention. <sighs> This is usually the thing. So yeah. much it's so funny when Archtavia stuff happens in front of Emma. He's like, I do not yeah. see it. I do yeah. not know. <laughs> I am so gay. I am so gay. <laughs> <laughs> how, do, how does Edwin appeal about Yasified Archibald? <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was funny initially, but he's like it's the kind of thing where it's like Archibald's gonna take them off and he's gonna be like, oh, 
Sorry, I got too used to it. I forgot what you actually Ah, you're like. ugly. Oh, no. no. The face blindness. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, Amalthea pierced my ears with a needle. I feel like I... Should I take these out for now? Probably. Uh, or should yeah, I leave them I, in? I mean... I mean, I don't want your ears to get infected. Weren't you Will gonna... I get infected if I leave it uh... in or take them out? Amalthea <laughs> shrugs. This is a oh, real talk, real talk. My ears got infected when I got my ears pierced. Yeah. Oh, no. And then yeah, I had to I... take them out, and they closed up. Oh, my oh. roommate had that exact thing happen. He was yeah. he was not happy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I was like, oh, uh, uh, and we'll pull them What is out, happening? However. Oh, God. Octavia's like, wait, wait, let me, let me help okay. you, please, please, oh. just stay still, stay still. And Octavia, like, quickly and painlessly takes them out, because she knows how to take out earrings. Yeah. Archibald flips back to normal, and Gare, from kind of just the vague back of the quote-unquote crowd, is like, ah. <laughs> 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 what are Gary's uh, thoughts on yassification of his it. spiritual leader? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No. Oh, no. Oh, my God, man. No. <laughs> really? Godfrey's thoughts. Godfrey's just no. kind of looking at all of you like, hmm, I think something's different about that man, but I can't put my <laughs> finger on it. <laughs> guy with guy with very high perceptions like well i know something's wrong but i don't know enough about makeup <laughs> to determine what it is uh-huh uh-huh I simply don't know octavia don't know. octavia like it's like i know it's gonna get healed but here's here's a little bit of cloth like clean cloth <laughs> just like press it i know it's gonna no. heal up but that yeah. no it yeah i'm fine and he points and Bringing back that cannon that we haven't touched on in a while, Archibald's ears just kind of hiss, like oh. whoop, green, green, green dragon blood, baby. He's weird. Uh, yeah. Just, oh yeah, the acid you know. blood. Your brain's yeah. so full of acid. <laughs> There's a reason he didn't ask for the needle back. Uh, uh. <laughs> the poison. The... Yeah. No. I see. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's why it's, that's the only reason I let Amalthea just kind of, you know. I'm professional! Amalthea, did you cauterize the needle? What did that mean? It means you heat it up really hot so he doesn't bleed. <laughs> well, he's fine. <laughs> Everyone no, bleeds. I, she's right, I am it. fine. Builds character. <laughs> Octavia looks to her and is like, Okay, next time I'll give you a second ear piercing. I'll show you how you're supposed to do it. Ooh. I think it's like, but. Oh, Rand dies. Right now. Rand dies. Shit, shit, shit. Yep, the second shit brought it back. Wow. Uh, <laughs> oh god. Okay, now I thunked out because it said I was fully connected. I was like, what is going mm -hmm. on? I just noticed <laughs> three out of five what? of us have icons of characters we are currently playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, get with the program, Sam. Sorry. Yeah, and I then can't fit them all in there. <gasps> My icon is Bingo from Bluey as a human being. <laughs> Bingo. Bingo. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Ah, oh, that's cute. I have no context for which dog is Bingo, but cool. The I mean, you can look at it. It's the orange dog. one. <laughs> I, I, I know little enough about Bluey that saying the orange one, that you could tell me that half of them are orange, and I'd be like, sure. I think half of them are orange. That's funny. The mom, <laughs> and, the, the mom and Bingo are orange. The dad and Bluey I, are blue. I, I want you to know that whenever someone talks about the family in Bluey, I picture the dogs from Bluey but, like, in the rough layout and color scheme of the Watersons from The Amazing World of Gumball. Uh, 
Because that's my, for some reason, that's my reference for Animal ca Cartoon Family I mean, it's right a good now. Reference. It's all I got. All right, yeah. before, so... we, before we get too off topic. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Bingo! Sorry. Valente, you <laughs> notice something scuttling around by your feet. Oh, no. Okay. I will look it down at my feet. It is your son. He says, oh. meow. Is he wearing cat ears? He is. Um, does he have a cat tail? Yes. He's okay. doing more of a leapfrog position. Um. Meow. Was... Animals. You are a very cute animal. But you're also a person. And your hands are going to get dirty. Can you please stand up for me? He stands up, but he does not Thank take you. off the ears. No, Val does not care if he takes off the ears. He uh, does instead some sort of, like, burglar walk around. That's the closest he can get to scuttling without touching the floor. Um, and just seems to be content wandering around the group, fake burgling. And every time he passes by Val, Val will pet him on the head like he is a cat and say good kitty. And he says meow loudly every time. Mm -hmm. Progressively Val is very loud. Val is very impressed with his knowledge of animal noises. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess he should be saying something wrong, like bark. No, he's got he he can do this one. He correct knows cats. Cause... Cats and dogs, those are easy. He knows those ones, especially especially since Amalthea did say meow with it on earlier. Yeah. yeah. And so he's like, oh, yeah, it, it, that's the cat that's one. That's a meow. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. He's um, got that one down. He's got, um, he's got cats. But she does say, if you want, uh, if you ever want to stop playing cat, you can give Amalthea the ears back. Um, and I'm always happy to give uppies if you want uppies, okay? He stares at you, processing for a moment, uh, shuffles over to Amalthea at speeds, uh, puts the cat ears back on her head, and then gestures to you like, I'm ready for uppies now. He gets uppies. Picks up. Cheesed. He looks pretty tired. Yeah. E -E Val will be happy to let him sleep on her shoulder. Uh, as you guys are, you know, just kind of enjoying the sights and the sounds, it's still pretty busy. Um, Gare leans on the table next to Archibald, and he says, So do we have to talk to Beatrix, or can we just leave? Be a, like, uh... I kind of feel like we should. Weren't we going to stay here, or... Mm. Were we going to stay here? In the room do we house. know where the beach... Wait, do we, even know... do we even know where the beach house is? We have to show Klaus's letter that he wrote for us. We do to have to, to talk the beach to... House. So we have to go talk to Beatrice. Yeah, yep. we do. Yep. She's the one thing between us and... A vacation. <laughs> oh boy. Well, you better be nice to her, because if I don't get to sleep on a beach somewhere, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> I'm generally, I think you have the mean and nice aspects of that relationship the wrong way around. Alright, well then be mean to her, I don't know. I'm tired, that... man. No, you don't, okay. Alright, are you guys ready to leave the festival? I think Hi, Octavia... Sir. Sorry, yeah, we're, no, we're ready I, to I, leave. Yeah. Go. You talk. No, I was thinking, like, does Octavia go to say hi in PR? No, he's probably working. She's not planning on buying something. <laughs> that would be rude. Just, hi! Bye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I like the tassel you let me have. Thanks Five a lot. Five-star Yelp review. I start Yelp review. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, as you guys make your way back into the palace, um, a different set of guards sort of gesture you towards the throne room of the castle. We're all just holding our beachwear with us. 
No, I think your convoy think is like here. Yeah, the convoy is okay. here. We put it. We can put it in the convoy. All right. <laughs> Unless someone right. wants to wear like their snorkel gear. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gear in his Hawaiian shirt going to meet yeah. the uh, He's already in beach Empress. mode. Archibald casually not thinking about the clothes Octavia bought, like, not even a wonder what those are for, just a, ah, oh, she bought clothes and stuff. Cool. Yeah, she didn't buy him a Speedo. That's not the implication. Yeah. He's just, that we're, we're not talking, like, something he's going to be embarrassed, but we're talking just baseline, like, you, oh. people wear different clothes for going swimming like archibald's about as to his... discover what people wear when they go swimming because <laughs> yeah he's, he his his experience has been catacombs and peasants in the countrysides he's not <laughs> the two outfits <laughs> yes the peasants don't tend to have two outfits that's the problem yes they do they do it's just they're usually they're not literal it's... dirt farmers yeah they're not they usually have multiple outfits it's just some of them are pretty similar, same and for like simple. And simple. I know that was just a casual dunk on the peasants. All right, let me have that. Oh Come my on. god! <laughs> <laughs> All the NPCs in your party turn to look at you like, "Hey, <laughs> hey, what the fuck, man? Hey, man?" Hey, my family were peasants in real life. Fuck off. <gasps> All right. <laughs> Are you going my on? last name, my last, I looked up what my last name meant in Polish before they butchered it at Ellis Island, that it's, it just was like fucking farm implement or something. It's <laughs> fucking stupid. Uh, go off, King. All right, are you guys going in to see a Beatrix? Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, one of the guards runs forward um, into the room before you to announce your presence. Um, he announces you as Klaus's friends. Um, I assume you gave him some sort of information that would let you in. Yeah, I think Klaus yeah. Yeah, he, said he, wrote, he would write ahead. Or yeah, something. he wrote ahead. So mm -hmm. he's like, oh, you must be the gaggle of oddballs that Klaus warned us about. Um, so he announces you as such. Um, and then he opens the door to let you inside. We go inside. All right. Uh, it is much the same as it was last time you were here. Big open room uh, thrown at the very end, and sitting in it, kind of semi-loungingly, uh, is a familiar woman in Pegasus Knight's armor. She looks at all of you. It's Beatrix. <laughs> She yeah, doesn't say sure anything, is. she just looks. <laughs> yeah, she just looks. After yeah, like a moment of awkward silence, it's like, uh, hi. Why are you <laughs> still alive? What? What do you mean? We're just, I'm just, we're just alive. Didn't you go to Orwell and Thracia? Yes, and shockingly, Arwell sucked more. Uh, People don't come back from Arwell. Arwell sucks. It's yeah. bad. So why are you here? Instead of in a six-foot deep hole somewhere. Did you want me to be? I mean, I won't lie. After you ignored my offers... Valente glares at Beatrix. <laughs> Beatrix I... kind of gives you a passing glance. Oh. Did you? Yeah, he's not very intimidating with a baby in his arms. Why does it smell like... Oh my god, Archibald. You're... You've got to work on your lizard scent. You smell twice as bad as you did before. <laughs> Don't hurt. <laughs> is... What is that... Is it me, or is it the fire dragons? We found fire dragons. They're alive. No, They're down there. No, it's different. Oh. She gets up from her throne. Uh -oh. oh, Archibald, Archibald doesn't say anything, but he's just like, oh. Oh, by the way, this is not just a bit for Archibald. I was like, this is an insult directed at my character. Wait a minute. Yeah. 
She's oh, gonna no. make a perception check. <laughs> oh no. Is there any way to interfere with that? Uh do you, does Edwin want to try Archibald to interfere smells. in some way? No. Does anyone kind of want to try to interfere in any way? This is, this is like Sorry. the third person in like three days. Sorry, what did you say, Sam? Anyone can try to interfere. You just gotta tell me how you're doing it. I think Octavia, like, slowly, like, gets something from her back, like some perfume to kind of mask some more of the essence and see if that disrupts how she's smelling stuff. He's gonna know the smell of perfume being <laughs> sprayed know. in the room. She uh, can smell lizard. Can you, can you make a sleight of hand check? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> you better. Yeah, I better. I don't know if it's she gonna be good. Smell she can smell species. Like... I know, I know. Octavia's just like, I don't think Edwin wants to talk about that right now, especially to you. So... Oh god, here we go. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh no. That's a that one. <laughs> da, 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 she da, waves da, her da. hand in her face. She says, who's spraying perfume in here? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, and then she, she takes a big sniff, and she looks directly at Edwin. Yeah. Edwin just could, looks kind of like... Yeah, this is bound to happen. <laughs> she looks back at Archibald, kind of pointing at Edwin. She says, So you refuse Wasn't my me. help. And Wasn't me. You give him help. Was not me. I did not do that. Does he smell like no, he me didn't. to you? Don't answer that. You all kind of, they all smell like you, Archibald. You're very punchy. Uh. Oh, thanks. Same to you. Yeah. I just don't. <laughs> she looks on... insulted. <laughs> I... we're, we're dragons. We all smell Beatrix. We just don't. No one else. It's just no one else comments on it. No one does. Hmm. Well, I noticed. So I just felt the need to alert you in case you were not taking care of yourself. I don't let him not bathe anymore. Uh, she looks at you as if she completely forgot you were there. Like, oh. Uh, uh, Archibald yeah. looks up at the sky itself, like Ah, they talk. Hello, <laughs> hello Gran, hello Gran up there. Just, this all in his head. Hello Gran, if you're up Let's... there, I, I apologize for whatever I might have interfered with, but could you just, like, do something now, like <laughs> anything. Valente could not care less about how little Beatrix thinks of her, because he thinks equally poorly of her. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's like, you are an asshole, and also just no one likes you. Mm -hmm. So why should I care? I don't understand you... why your girlfriend even likes you. Yeah, like he's like, why should I care if you think I'm a person? I don't care about your opinion um he's like yeah uh i d i just didn't let it fly he has to bathe now good call he's fu he's fucking like saying the our father that he's fucking rolling through <gasps> he's going through his I rolodex of religions just, like, like oh just... fucking kill me <laughs> i'm assuming octavia is next to archwell so she's just like gently patting his back <laughs> like what it's okay but Pain. Anyways, I assume you didn't just come here to update me on things. Why are you here? Uh, I mean, Klaus sent us here. Uh, for does he have? So we can use the updates? beach house. Well, uh, he's hiring us for more stuff. We're in his mm -hmm. employ. But also, he told us to go use his beach house. I think we have a letter here explaining the thing. He told us to go she holds her hand take out a rest for it. after the whole... Octave. Yeah. I'm assuming... Let's just assume Octavia has the letter, because she had got the bribery yeah. and stuff. Oh, the puppy. She takes she it has... out of your hand with the uh, motion of that girl from the GIF, where it's like, thank you. <laughs> of course. She knows it's she's, she's whispering in that. You know it's supposed to be ASMR. 
Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> she's like, thank you. Um, she's always got kind of a whispery quality to her voice. Mm -hmm. Imagine that in your head. Just she's... apply a, a filter to whatever. In, in a modern age, you should be a smoker. Yeah. Oh, I'm just thinking Envy Adams from Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. That works fine, but in my head, <gasps> uh, she's definitely... Uh, she she's she smoked a blunt for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, she so has. And also a regular cigarette. Yeah, Archibald. Do you think I'm she going to. I, I'm going to. Sorry, I'm going to paint this picture for everyone, including Sam. Hi. Uh, Beatrix is the kind of person who um. On the drag, if you take the dragon time scale and compress it down to uh. A more human one. She spent like all of her life up until her like eighteenth birthday being just a fucking magic book nerd. Like basically Edwin, but fucked up and evil. TM, just like <laughs> oh I'm, going, I'm going to learn all the power and evil shit. I know dark magic. I know light magic. I have I have learned everything. I can ride horses. And then uh, a bunch of people died and, like, several kingdoms blew up in succession. And uh, God knows what led her to Klaus, but in my head, it's like, you know, there's no way she was, like, uptight through all that. She's fucking, like, blasted. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely had a, like, you know... She went through the swing first, in the baby, baby's, baby's first time out of Catholic school sort of oh, deal. Yeah. Like, just a fucking <laughs> bleh. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah. Um, but she takes the note, she reads it, and she says, Do you have any updates from the actual war, or are you just here to have vacation? With the war itself? Well, we helped him down with that obelisk he's working on. I assume he tells you about that, and I... how that works have a vague description of his little project, yes. Yeah, we were helping out with that, and we got some issues sorted. I see. No major setbacks, though. That's good. Maybe we'll no. yeah. get this over with before the end of the year. He... We should probably mention the uh, dragon thing. She looks at you. The dragon thing. Um. Well, we had something that, uh, can let a human be a dragon, and he wanted to buy oh, it. You so. don't have to, oh, you don't have to mince where it, what is it called? Philosopher's Dragon Stone? Yeah. She probably, she probably knows. She's... No, you didn't, no. Archibald, why would you give him something like that? He's gonna be around forever! Were you expecting Beatrix, and this is, for in, in a weird way for everyone else in the room, this becomes like a old friendship sibling-y thing <laughs> in like a weird way, like reflexively for both of them. Beatrix, are you just waiting around for him to die? Not die, but oh my god, I don't want to be employed. To get bored and leave years. to get to get bored and leave it in your hands. I mean a girl's gotta make a living. Uh, <laughs> that was the one time where Octavius Octavius like with Beatrix, okay, mood. But also <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. He's you know, I mean, look, what happens if we didn't give him the thing? He'd be back in some form, you know? You'd think he'd have better things to do. Oh, he'll probably get bored anyway. But. At least uh, I don't have to worry about him dying. Ah! I, I I picture that being flopping back into the yeah, throne, it's, like it's, oh. yeah, <laughs> vibe. Um, amazing. But she looks at all of you and she says, "I'll have, I don't know. Do you want to leave today for the 
beach house. Do we want to leave today? He says, looking to everyone else, like, not Beatrice. I mean, how far is it? It's half an hour away. It's just at the coast. Yeah, let's oh. just go. They have showers there, because last time we were showers. here, the showers were kind of nice. Of course they have showers. They have all the king's latest and greatest projects. If Are it's smoking, stop? don't that touch it. Sense. Got it. Alright, I'll summon a carriage for you. Be ready to leave in 20 minutes or so. And Archibald and um, Teal friend. <laughs> Edwin. Last, uh, last offer, Archibald, for what I tried to give would... you before. I'm still Archibald. happy to volunteer. How's Ira doing? What have you? What have? What are you? Did uh, did? Did Val say that out loud? Yeah. Archibald mm. looks back with a look like, "I love you." Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm just well, like, looks what like, the fuck? We had this <laughs> conversation <laughs> last time. This human has yeah, the right yeah. idea. See? He doesn't want to die a horrible death. Uh, the uh, the look of someone. We had this conversation last time. No, I think we're fine. We killed some people. We We lived. It's all good. Yes, well, uh, Plus, killing the sick and injured in Arwell is surely an arduous task for you. I'm sure it will be. Uh, much no, actually, they kind of. The actually, for the record, she kind of. Their queen was did not have holy blood. Was wielding one of the spears. It was fucked up. Uh, You're going to say that part was fucked up, but not the having to re-kill Nyoran? I'm sorry, Archibald. what? Oh yeah, she necromanced okay. that Neuron, Neuron before dying. And then we had to fight Neuron. Yeah, Archibald's really just like mentally just face to palm, smack, 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 smack. <laughs> <laughs> like, the de the de he knows exactly which details are good for her to hear. And, like, she can hear anything about Edwin being a dragon. Or about Klaus, it's whatever. But like, he knows specifically the things in backstory that are bad, and he is just like. So <laughs> this lady was resurrecting crusaders, and you killed it again. Well, the one because they had armor that you could put a corpse in, and it would stop degenerating. degenerating. And that's been dealt with. Yes. yes. Yeah. Good riddance. Knock it yeah. back down a third time for me if you find it. Nothing yeah. personal. We are, and then uh, that was just on the way to Thracia, where we had to deal with, um... You remember mention of the General Draha? Remember that one? A uh, slight bit of recollection, yes. Oh, uh, she was down there. She was in charge. She was, um, you know, he just does the pointing to both sides of his head, like, <laughs> Fucking dragon go nuts. She pulls yeah. a little bit of a face like, ooh. Yeah. And did you fix that? Oh, we got her. We got oh, her. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, we, we we did it. Took care of it. There was a whole thing. There was a whole situation down that we went there just to check what was up for Klaus and Fig, and we ended up having to fight an ancient dragon like our grandparents edge sort of dragon and that it's a whole fucking thing you guys have been busy uh-huh and we're it's still alive as you said here. yeah well what are our, what are our lives if not worse from here beatrix come on well i know you don't want my generous offer but she turns to edwin with a sickly God. sweet smile another how one how about you young man you know <laughs> Again, uh, Beatrice. No. Come on, <laughs> Octavia just gives Edwin an entire well. look. He's like, is need, this another thing? I need to roll something. Hang on. Um, 
Okay, Insight 14. Sam? Yeah. Does this woman know what the blood do? What what the beasts are? How that whole thing works? Uh, she hasn't indicated anything as to how that works. She hasn't really spoken about beasts whatsoever. We probably guys, should guys, tell she's, her. Guys, she's fucked her girl. She's fucked up her girlfriend. Oh god. You After see this, now? <sighs> no, Octavia's gonna ask about Ira in a second. <laughs> After what's Edwin's response? Uh, his response is a polite no, thank you. Ugh. Guys are a bunch of idiots, cowards. I don't know the word for it. Whatever. Fine. I'll Seven. keep my power to myself. It's always worked for me. How's Ira doing, by the way, since we won't get to see her? She's perfectly fine. Why do you care? Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> But also, I'll, Octavia was I'm like, oh, well, she was nice. She is nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to ask about her, because she's nice. She's she's <laughs> hiding behind the chair. They were just fucking making out in the throne in the middle. I of, didn't of, think the... you were going to add the making out to that sentence, brother. What? <gasps> what? Okay, let me they were roll. Just, they were just fucking... You said... Oh. They were just fucking making out. Um, uh, God do you damn, understand getting... why that's not my first? How? Uh, why I thought the sentence was going to end where it was going, where it did not end. I understand. I see your vision, Dwyer. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, oh, Tempe's just gonna say, oh, the. Sentence I know what you're kept saying, going. but also. What was the insight yikes. check? Three, three. You don't know anyone else. Was. Was... Sure. Uh, okay. Val has negative on insight, I think. Oh, anyone oh, else oh, oh. want to? Dirty, dirty twenty. Dirty cool. twenty. Uh, it's less of a something horrible is happening. More of a don't talk about my fucking girlfriend after you're over here making out with my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she doesn't know that. She gets a vibe. Oh, she gets a vibe. You guys, she talk, you guys did, did some talking at the dance. earlier. Yeah. Did she roll insight on that? Oh yeah. no. Oh, okay. it, was the, it was the touching the back and comforting thing. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> she do be looking. Uh, like, uh, so that we did, also that we had a couple's dance-off sort of deal yeah. during the fucking yeah. the, vi the vibe she's projecting is distinctly like, oh, yeah, you want to get in dragon business, human? Well, go get in his business, because clearly... It sounds like he, dra trying to get in dragon business sounds like he's about to get in yours anyway. Uh... <laughs> Oh, mm. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, ow. Pain. Mental pain. Anyway. Someone move on. <laughs> sorry, okay, my sex. call got really crunchy. How was the insight check? Uh, basically... Mine... Sorry, go ahead. Mine was very good. Uh, it, you can explain it better. I'm not going to be able to after that joke I just okay, made. Okay, basically, Sam responded was like... It was cagey, but in a, not in the way that something horrible happened to Ira. It's more like, you're already fucking my br not brother, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah. And Arctic was like, okay. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, she kind of uh, curls inwards, perhaps emotionally, at that. Um, it gets slightly more hostile, and she waves you all away, saying, Well, if you have nothing else to ask of me, then just wait for your cart somewhere else. Octavia's like, I was literally just asking how she was. <laughs> I'm Arch literally just standing here. <laughs> uh, okay. Arch yeah, okay. Um, well, it was good seeing you. Lovely as always. Hmm. Let me know when you're not a coward, and we'll talk soon. Archibald, uh, uh, if I may, Archibald will usher everyone out. Um, and then as soon as they're at the door, put up a finger to the guard, like, a guard at the door, like, hang on. 
and turns his arrow on and pulls in people. It's like, I don't think she knows about the beasts. About the holy boat thing. Okay. What about them, though? Do we need to tell her? Oh, he God, grabs, he, he grabs, he grabs everyone, like Octavia and Edwin specifically, but at, arms around everyone, hands like clasped on their shoulders. Guys, she gave girlfriend her blood. Did she? No, she did. it I was, it was no, the other wait. way around. No, it, it was, was the, the other, other way, way around. around. Yeah. Yeah. I think you I think the thing you were talking about was something about like blood from a sacrifice. Yeah. Still sounds yeah. illegal to me. Is Godfrey talking? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Octavius right. like, yeah, you would know what's illegal. <laughs> God no, you guys are <laughs> Archer puts his hand on his head and is like, uh, you guys are right, sorry. No, I it's... just had no, a moment I, there. Yeah. Uh, I I see why you'd be worried. Do you want to tell her? Just in, in case? Not right now. That, okay. Since, uh, oh, ah, do we? Do well, I? You could tell her when I we go, come back. I could go talk to her now. Well, yeah. what reason would you have to know this? Because if she starts asking questions... Oh. She might learn some other things that maybe we don't want to get out. Okay. Maybe send her a letter. I... Then she might tell the king. What about and... the king? The king? What is the king? Um, doesn't the king fucking know everything at this point? Oh, he doesn't know everything. <laughs> and Octavia's not going to specify that. And it's more like, I, there's another place we can talk about this if we want to. If you want to tell Beatrix more, just to warn her, I guess. Yeah. Um, you don't have to give her specifics. You could just tell her that we found that it wasn't good for the Crusaders. Mm-hmm. We talked to Versetti. No, no. We talked to Versetti's son. Mm-hmm. That's mm -hmm. That's where we got That's it. That's it. That's where we got yeah. the info. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, I need to go tell her this right now. I don't want to... This no, is a that, thing I don't yeah. want to cause that's her. To... That's speed, dude. Yeah, dude, that's yeah, fair. I don't tell... Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. He walks Let up to the guard. Let us know guardian. if you need anything, I guess. Yeah, he, he, he Do runs back. you want support? <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay. I think this is... Whatever happens here happens. Uh... He walks <laughs> over to the, he runs over to the door to the guard. Is like ooh, he told to wait a second. He's like, "Can I privately with her?" For the a second. guard sighs loudly before poking his head back in, saying, "Your friend again." <laughs> you've been announced, sir. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> was that audible? I leaned, I leaned all the way up yes, from no, the mic heard and it, looked we at. Heard it. Oh, okay, good. Uh. Beatrix sits up in her chair. Clearly, she was lounging. Yeah. He uh, shuffles on in real quick. Again? Uh, what? Sorry. He looks around. Is there anyone else really in the room, or is it just her? Uh, there's some guards in the far distance, but they seem to be talking to each other, not really paying attention. I. Sorry. I just wanted to tell you some. Can I? He looks around at everyone visibly, like, hey, I don't want. May I approach your throne? Oh my god, for... it's Archibald. Just say what you gotta say. Get up here. Okay. He walks up and sort of like kneels down ish. Not in a weird way, just like, you know, hunching over to with talking to him, right? I, before I go, I need to let you know because I don't know what you're doing with the magic and the blood magic stuff and your girlfriend friend girlfriend um she shrugs girl sorry 
Beatrix, do you know what the, do you know do you know what the beasts are? Yes, Archibald, obviously. I wasn't born yesterday. No no no. Like where they not that they exist or are animals, like Archibald, where they do you came know from. how much money this kingdom puts towards keeping the beast on our border happy? I know everything about that thing. Like the fact that they're crusaders. Yeah. Okay. I know everything about that thing. And I hate it. Okay. Yeah. No. I'm just making sure you knew, because I wouldn't. Of course I would be aware of the king's favorite pet. Oh. Right. I'm... I don't know what he tells you. I don't know. I'm just... I was just making sure I didn't want you to... Hmm. Think I'm gonna do something stupid? Have he you pauses. done something stupid? No, I'm far too much of a coward for that, as established. Yeah, um, I figured. But I... Um... We've all had a family history of interesting decisions, and also you were at the castle with the, one of the people who did it in the first place. I don't want to mm -hmm. just making sure. Trust um, me, Archibald. If I was to do something like that, mm -hmm. I... I don't think I would do something like that unless absolutely necessary. That's just not something I want to have to take care of. Archibald has a face roller coaster during that where she's like, Don't worry, that's not something I would do. Just a look of, Oh, maybe, th maybe friendship is real. Maybe people are like, Unless absolutely no. necessary. And it, go it goes the, Whoa, back to, Fuck, <laughs> man. Uh <laughs> Come Listen, on, I'm man. just saying they could make some pretty powerful soldiers, but also they eat a lot and they don't listen to directions, so you don't have to worry about me. Right. Did you know that Ethnia is the god that made humans? What? Like Ethnia, you know, the old gods, Ethnia, Grim, that whole thing. I'm not a history person, Archibald. <laughs> you were an everything else person. How do you not know his? I have a lot on my plate right now. <gasps> Why are you researching the... old gods? Don't you have to go? Don't you have a war to go die in? Remember how? Remember how? Oh fuck! Oh no! Remember how they used to say them? They being the monks used to say that. Kovan and I, our mother was descended from, like, the goddess, Ethnia, distantly, yeah, right? Yeah, that's what makes you so special. I, I was doing research recently, because of the whole Q god pillar obelisk thing. Ethnia is the god of humans. Ethne is the one that made humans. Gran is the one that made dragons. Yeah. Okay. So then you're... part Ethnia, human? think about it. Ethnia, who's the god of Earth, made humans. Specifically. Mm-hmm. They do and... kind of smell like dirt. We're the Earth Dragons, and then my brother and I specifically are... Are. He said are, reflexively, like, current, like, ah, shit. Aww. Um... Are... Descended from... Is that weird? That's weird, right? That doesn't... I mean, it's a little bit befuddling, but... 
It's not like that, that changes the fact that you're clearly a dragon. Oh, I know. It's just... Don't have an identity crisis, Archibald. I don't have time for it. That's fair. You're a dragon. I'm... Yeah, I, I wasn't... Like human a... because that's who you hang out with. I was just curious if you knew any... You know, if... If we were being gaslit by the monks all that time, or if you were, if people were fucking with us, or if you, I don't know, thought Koban and I were weird, impure dragons the whole time, or something, I don't know. Uh, Archibald, I have a lot of opinions on you, but I, it's been a while since I've been able to pick and choose what dragons I think are the best, because I'll be honest, there's not too many left, so we'll take what we can get. Okay. Any other identity crises you'd like to have in front of my throne? Archibald, like... Goes away, Mal's like, wow. But then also sort of nods like, eh, not bad for yourself. Uh, <laughs> and then, like, all right. Uh, nope, I'm good. Just, you know, be well. Have oh, fun, wow, and have nice. fun with the, have fun being in the seat of power or whatever. Oh, I absolutely will. Have fun, uh, doing whatever it is humans do on the beach. I'm gonna something. find out. He he's walking away. I'm gonna find <laughs> out. I have no idea. <laughs> you can swim, right? <gasps> <laughs> Doesn't answer if he can swim. We both swim. <laughs> he can swim. He can swim. It's can hey, hey, uh, uh, stop, stop, yeah. Stops at the door. It's like we all sweat. She shakes her head. Just and right. says. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun! Gives a sarcastic little wave. That pisses you Goodbye. off. Goodbye. <laughs> he he rolls to the guard at the door. He rolls his eyes like lady, right? Uh, <laughs> the guard just kind of stands at attention like, I am on, on the clock. She's looking is at Is this us. guy, uh, hang on, is this guy also banging her? She's bi as fuck. No! <laughs> this random Not everyone door guard. Near... <laughs> random uh, door guard, you in Insight, 18. Uh, no, he seems to be a, uh, a worker for the castle who is doing his job. Yeah, you're getting no everyone. sexual energy from this man at the moment. Thank God. <laughs> and Archibald is saying there's like, thank gods. Anyway. She's not building a harem. That you know. Look at Klaus. Look at whose castle she's renting. Yeah, no. Yeah. And Klaus. He's an old this pervert. Is, this she is the She barely harem wants Klaus. to talk about her girlfriend because that's too much emotional vulnerability. They well, are not the same. <laughs> well, Klaus I'm not going to reveal other. Ca I'm not going to reveal anyone else's backstories, but you know. Yeah. Uh, oh. Wait, Sam, what did you say? I said Klaus is kind of an old slut. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like! He's an old pervert slut! <laughs> He's allowed. He's allowed! It's consensual. I mean, he already did it. <laughs> He's gonna keep doing it. He can't be stopped. He really literally can't be stopped. Peepaw cannot be stopped. <laughs> Please stop praying for my grandpa. <laughs> He's already too strong. But, oh god. Yeah, we know about Colvon. There's Archibald some castles. Did bring that there, up to there, there's some castle. There's some castles in Arcana. There's some towns in Arcana. Small towns. I'm just saying. God knows how many nephews and nieces and whatever he's got running around right now. <gasps> oh, oh boy. Oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but anyways, Archibald, you pop back out the doors. Everyone is still waiting for you. You good? Oh, yeah, she knows. She already knew. She knows uh, everything, and she was just kind of judgy about the whole thing the whole time. Fine, we're uh, good. We yeah, can go. Let's, let's go now. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, All right. 
Okay. Um, let's take a five minute break so I can get another fudge square and take a piss. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is your tummy feeling better? Don't worry about it. Sam. Not, oh, no, not, Sam. The, 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 that's what she's got to fix. Is if it feels better, you have to put another fudge square in to keep it down. <laughs> to keep it. It. it the the t- the tummy problems mean that uh, something is working down. You know. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab a snack or something too, because okay. this is the five minute break, and I'm wasting it making jokes that Sam can't even hear about her. Okay. See you in five. Mm-hmm. Slunchin' and skinchin. Rollin' and reelin'. Yeah. Yeah. Big if true. Mm hmm. I was kind of wondering, like, should we tell Beatrix that Ardle's gonna be staying at the castle? No. <laughs> random <laughs> fucking baby. <laughs> Just a random fucking baby. Point you don't like, need what to the know. fuck is that? <gasps> Which one have it's you reproduced? Arnold. Disgusting. <laughs> no, we just found him. Gamers. She's gonna point and be like, mm, what if you had a baby? Man, humans go fast. <laughs> Gamer. Human lifespans, Gamer. right? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be 100 by the time you come back. <laughs> I'm Ardle. Ardleized. Because I was thinking, like, do we tell Beatrix that Ardle's gonna be staying here? 
Oh. <laughs> if she figures, I don't, I literally don't think, did she even notice the baby? Probably not. I assumed it was in the letter. Exactly. Yeah, it was probably like a subtweet, subtweet, sub, <laughs> like a sub note in the letter, like, oh yeah, and like, hey, baby. And like an, a like an hour after we leave, if she's going to be just like lounging on the throne, like, girlfriend resting on her just like casually flipping through pages of the letter because just on the table and be like baby <laughs> darling what is a toddler <laughs> you're uh, in the background oh it's a little human sweetie <laughs> you have you have you, you have no idea you have no idea how weirdly accurate of a uh statement that toddler <laughs> thing is that's fucking i, I wrote that shit <laughs> I'm still eating on your own. Nice. Hmm. I'm glad you enjoyed You honestly, Malo and Tiamat spreading the good word of the copycat cosmic brownies. <laughs> I fucked mine up so bad, but it's still good. As long as it's still good. Honestly, the ganache helps all. Yeah, it's so dense. <laughs> it's <is> so dense. <laughs> it is Mood. literally candy. <laughs> I'm gonna get more water. I'll be back. Oh, uh, I was gonna say, I'm here. I'm just eating my food. Yeah, hold on. Let me just nice. get more water. Alright. I'm gonna mute so you don't hear me eating uh, onion rings. I'll get. Mm, no, I want that rings. ASMR. You'd have to pay for it, Dwyer. This is true. This is true. I'm sure there's onion ring eating. ASMR on YouTube. I don't like ASMR actually. It was a bit. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I was following the bit. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was, but I was like, no, don't worry. The bit, it's over. We don't need to. I don't need ASMR. I don't like ASMR. There. It. I don't like the tingling feelings that it causes. It's unpleasant. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, ASMR personally makes me feel nothing, which. I used to think that, and then I experienced, like, very specific ones will do it. For example, the ASMR I'm beating you to death does it, and I was like, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like the tingling feeling. I don't mm -hmm. like being whispered to. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't... Mm. I don't like the whispering. <laughs> I, I think I... Welcome back. It's shocking that of all of them, the one that would first get you would be one about beat, getting beat to death. That what? sounds like the least ASMR thing I can imagine. Huh? It's just the sound of them, like, punching a really bad microphone. Fascinating. It's unpleasant. And to people, to at the risk of sounding like uh, no, it's, it's a, it's an a ancient it's, scientist. It's, it's a parody of ASMR. Ice. But it works oh, oh. on, it causes the ASMR response in me. Wow. And I don't like it. It's unpleasant. <gasps> okay. Um, alright, so... You... Sorry, I just dropped my big D20. Uh, oh no! <laughs> okay, so, you guys are all gathered in the hall. Um, who has the Guiding Stone? I think we do normally just pass it around, so let's just say... Octavia has the Guiding Stone. Okay, uh, Godfrey's gonna turn to Octavia, and he's gonna say... We should probably retrieve ah. Robbie and ah. Millicent and my mother. So I can do Got that. It. Okay. We can. Uh, Archibald, we can. It's the guiding stone. We can retrieve them from the house too. Surely, right? Like it's thirty minutes away. It's. Um, or do you, do you think they want to go on the carriage ride? My, um. Uh, that's a fair point, but my thinking was why teleport and put your... You know, it's like you're almost putting yourself on a clock, but I guess it's a royal carriage waiting for us now that I thought about it. That's fair. I need to pick up some things from my house anyway, but I suppose you could wait. No, oh. you can. Uh, Octavia is just like... Dan's Godfrey, the guys are like, here you go if you want to use it. Okay. Well, Do you well, think they'd need any help carrying anything? Yeah, or? any luggage? Uh, I 
can't imagine they'd be bringing too many things. I'll be, I'll be back. And okay. He's okay. Gone. <laughs> there he go. There he go. And, and so Godfrey never returned. No. <laughs> he just fucks off. He just fucks off. He's like, Finally, on, they've, given me the they've given me the magic rock. I'm free. <laughs> no, he's taken it before. He's just been with someone. You no, Un he's taken it by his rock time. time. You know, but Godfrey's <laughs> weird Dobby esque escape is way funnier than that. <laughs> oh, God. I still need to draw Godfrey getting stuck in a glue trap. That reminds me. <laughs> yes. Please. Yeah. yeah, you do. You do. Oh. Fucking Tumblr and their glue traps. What the fuck? It's actually, on? I've only seen it on Twitter. I've not seen a single glue I trap. I saw the on original. I saw the original on Tumblr, and now it's just blowing up. Okay. I'm just like, wow. It, this really be a thing. Um. <laughs> but yes, yeah, Godfrey leaves. Is there anything else you guys want to do, or you just want to hang around and wait for him? Just hang around and wait. Maybe if Ira passes by, Octavia says hi and talks with her. Yeah, but sure. I don't Ira, think that's... Ira wanders by. Maybe she's going to the throne room for undisclosed reasons. Um, <laughs> uh, I was... Octavia calls out, oh, Ira! Uh, she's gonna make a memory check. Yeah, she probably... Oh, you might not remember me. You only saw us, like, a few times. Uh, yeah, she's gonna kind of nervously play with her hair a little bit, like, ah, oh. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. I see a lot of people every day. Um, it's okay. Um, we just did a job for King Class. We sorry, just wanted to say hi. It's okay. Of course, no, no. Um, thank you for saying hi. What's your name again? Uh, Octavia. Octavia. Well, um, good to see you, Octavia. Mm hmm. <laughs> And, then she's gonna and Octavia's like, away. knows it's like, yes, go, go, go run away. It's she's fine. gonna skitter away into the <laughs> yeah. throne room unannounced. Yeah, Archibald behind, uh, leans in behind Octavia, whispers, she just went into the throne room, didn't she? Oh, yeah, she did. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, ten gold that the guards are gonna come out soon, and she's not. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Let's just watch. Casually. Casually. Did the guards did the guards leave? Uh yeah, a couple of them come trickling. <laughs> oh, they're having sex on the throne. <laughs> Gare <laughs> looks at you so fast that you hear his neck bones crack. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but you uh, say that out loud? Uh You know what? It's he he did it, but it's funnier if he did. So let's say it. <laughs> We've already got the cannon. Sam's already done a response. It happened. Yeah, I'm all. He doesn't say it you. loud, loud. He doesn't say it so the guards can hear, but Gare can. Gare's like, what? Yeah. Archibald probably. gestures at the uh, cloud at the uh, cloud of people leaving the throne room where Beatrix is. Gare makes kind of a revolted face, like, oh, <laughs> women having sex. Oh Whoa, this is <laughs> not solidarity. Advanced misogyny. Yeah, Octavia, Octavia looks at him and is like, where have you done it? Where's the worst place you have done it? Yeah, you guy? know Klaus has done that too. In a bed! You know Klaus what is wrong that. with you people? <gasps> oh, just a bed? Like a shitty bed, but you know. You're telling me that if you got for like a month some king or queen or I whatever. I saw that said, throne. Here. It's marble. I... <laughs> she's she's an earth dragon. That shit's like fucking that straw. That other lady is it? <laughs> well, um, you know what? I'm well, not going to think any I harder mean... about that. Yeah, uh, Val will pat her boyfriend on the back and say, "I don't think you need to think about this too hard." making my bed. Everyone just kind of shrugs and is like, I've definitely seen worse. <laughs> yeah, no, Edward went to magic college. Of course he's seen worse. Yeah. Val <laughs> was the janitor for the magic yeah, college. Yeah, like, wizard goes, said. He's also seen worse. Octavia yeah, was and first Edwin with the clean it up. Yeah. Edwin has seen oh, worse. No. And Edwin has seen worse and Val has seen the consequences. Oh, no. Yeah. 
Not wizards. Students walking up. <laughs> students walking yeah. up to like, Val, how do I clean redacted out of this thing? And Val's like, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. poor, poor Val. <laughs> um, but after spending a, a solid half hour waiting for both the carriages and Godfrey, Godfrey reappears with a uh, slightly bewildered Merope, um, a just chillin' Alica, and a very excited Millicent. Yeah. Aww. Millicent immediately Millicent? gets to work sniffing the entire perimeter. One of the guards does yelp very loudly as he is quickly approached by a human-sized dog. <laughs> Wait, are Millicent, you, are, Millicent? Arnold and Millicent have met before, right? No. Arnold, Arnold hasn't been to Godfrey's house. Arnold yeah. from his place on or around Valente's lap goes very still. <laughs> Valente says, do you want to meet him? Her. <gasps> Cow. No. <laughs> Millicent Cow. is a dog. Dog? Dog. She's too big. Puppy. She's a special dog. <gasps> I want to meet Millicent. <laughs> would you like to go... Would you like to go meet Millicent? He's already struggling to get out of your lap. Yeah, Val will say, okay, and uh, get up and put him on the ground. Uh, he starts running over, and then he pauses, like, halfway across the room. And then he looks at Val, a little bit, like, hesitant. He's like, she's really big. I'll come with you. He nods. And Val is coming with him. Okay. Uh, he cautiously approaches, and Millicent turns to him. Um... And he's gonna make a conviction check. Oh, bunny! His big is too big. He got a three. Oh. Um, she's got really big red eyes and just so much teeth. Um, oh. so he's gonna look at her, and the excitement kind of kind of disappears from his face. Um, and he scoots back behind Val. He's shaking uh, his head. Val. Offers her hand to Millicent. Millicent gives it a good schnurf. And then she starts petting Millicent. Millicent making happy, very large, scary dog noises. Arnold continues shaking his head and hiding behind you. <laughs> That's alright. You don't have to pet her if you don't want to, but I promise she won't hurt you. He, he stops shaking his head and he doesn't come out, but he does just kind of, like, peek around. He's, it's clear he does not intend on approaching anytime soon. She used to be smaller than you, you know. Why? Because, well, th things start out small and then they get bigger. I'm gonna get bigger. Yeah, you're gonna, you might be as big as, uh, me or Gare one day. Oh. Then I'll come pet Millicent. If you want. He nods. You're allowed to pet her whenever you want. Hmm. Maybe. Millicent, uh, looks like she might want to investigate Ertl, but she doesn't. She just goes back over to, uh, see what Archibald's doing and what sort of snacks he's left in his pocket. Oh. Good. Because oh, Val he's... would have had to pick up the baby and start running. <laughs> There's no escape in that thing. Uh, Get chased by dog. It's it's not an exceptionally large. He's room. coming for you. Archibald is, uh, I assume, flattened to the ground by a giant dog. Yeah, yeah. Sniff, 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 sniff. sniff. Oh, oh, oh! Hi, girl. Oh, yeah. It's, it's very fuzzy down here. <laughs> you get a snoot in your mouth. <laughs> She finds your pockets, investigating them. Do you have any snacks? Probably. There, you don't need more. <laughs> <laughs> she only found. She she only found the first layer of hidden snacks. Ah. Uh -huh. The secret. Oh, hold on. Just wait. What did I miss? Check. Oh. Uh -oh. She got an eleven. She finds half your snacks. 
No. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Valid. All right. Um, but Merope, uh, she gets Alika settled on one of the nearby benches. Um, and Alika, she's uh, she's just kind of looking around. She's she's definitely aware that this is not where she usually is. Um, but she looks reasonably like pleased. You know, maybe a little excited. They're going on a little trip. Mm -hmm. Um, and Merope just kind of looks a little frazzled. Um, oh. she's she's like kind of fanning herself a little bit. She's like, "Wow, sure is hot in here, huh?" Oh yeah. Oh wait, were you able to find a swimsuit? Oh yeah, I I had one at the very back of my closet. Uh, it's a good thing it still fits. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. We went to the market before we did the stuff and I got swimsuits for everyone. Shit, I should have gotten stuff for you. You no, can share my stuff. No, it's it's totally fine. Trust me. I've been to a coast before. Um and I saved everything. So I've got a big bag right here, everything we could need, and she has like a little uh not a little, she has like a little knapsack um full of her stuff, probably a lot of Alica's stuff as well. Alica has a bag. Um, nice. Millicent does not have a bag, but she does not wear clothes, so it's fine. Yeah, it's <laughs> fine. She is nakey. She nakey. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Jupiter, I'm assuming Jupiter and Garlic are back with us too, waiting. Yeah, yeah. Um, and as you guys are convening and Merope is commenting about, wow, it's been a very long time since she was a place that wasn't zero degrees or less. Uh, she's not used to this kind of temperatures, temperatures mm -hmm. being... Uh, maybe like 35 degrees. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the carriage awaits. It pulls up. Hell yeah. Um, I'm assuming Octavia is going to just ride with Jupiter because that makes sense. She offers if anyone wants to join, but she's assumed people will really want the carriage treatment. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's big enough to hold all of you um, with mm -hmm. comfortable room to spare. Nice. Is uh, Valente riding on garlic? Yeah, of course. Okay. All right. Uh, anyone want to do anything before we cut to the beach? Are we um, bringing the convoy? Presumably. I assume. Yeah. Yeah, I okay. assume. Yeah. Okay. Just making and sure. Do they have food at the beach house, or do they have somewhere close by we can get food? Uh, the driver of the carriage mentions that, yeah, there's food, there's, like, a full wait staff, because this oh, is the wow. emperor's, this is the emperor's beach house, not the emperor, the king's beach house. Oh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, they, they always have wait staff, okay, got it. Yeah, it's like, it's like a, it's like a nice place. Um, nice. Yeah. But, yes, there's food. Um, and it's a mere half hour away, so not nearly as agonizing as most of the treks you've had to do. Um, and yeah. because you're in a nice fancy carriage traveling on a well-guarded road, uh, you don't have to make any traversal checks. Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> you arrive, um, just as, like, the sun's starting to set, um, you can, you can see it going down. The sky is a very beautiful pink color. Um, you see the ocean, kinda, not, not in the distance, but it's, uh, it's on the other side of the house. Uh, and the house is Ow. this big sort of, like, sprawling estate. Um, there's fields on every side, there's clearly a beautiful garden of some sort, um, the actual building is quite large, um, but styled in a way that it's clearly meant to be like, ah, my summer bungalow, uh, <laughs> don't mind the fact that it's got four floors, that sort of thing, um, but yeah, you see there's like a stable, um, there's a big, uh, big, just, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot happening. Mm -hmm. And there's there's white staff waiting out front. They've been told in advance, ah, oh, there's going to be someone coming. Um, and when the guard opens the doors for you, uh, maybe like the lead butler, or whatever you call it, the head butler, that's what you say. The head butler, um, he steps forward to greet and he says, ah, dignitaries from... Arcanea. Arcanea. Excellent. Come with me. Uh, my staff will handle all of your things. Let me show you to your rooms, and then we will prepare something for you to eat. Do you prefer lobster or steak? I'm more partial to lobster myself. 
I don't know if Edwin has eaten either of these foods in the past. <laughs> Do you prefer seafood or land food, Edwin? Oh, lobster. Oh, do you also have vegetarian options? Someone in our group is a vegetarian. Oh, of course, yes. We have our own private garden here. We would be happy to provide a variety of foods. Any other requests? Octavia looks to Ardle. <laughs> it's like, kitty requests? And also, I think Amal she just assumes Amalthea <laughs> wants meat. <laughs> yeah, Amalthea mumbles something about, like, can I have both? From behind, uh, <laughs> behind Valente. And Arnold thinks for a minute before saying, cake. <laughs> you, you do not have... get to have more than one slice of cake. Mm. It will make your tummy hurt. Uh, and then the head butler says, perhaps we po shall prepare Sir his own small serving of cake. That, that would be, would be wonderful. Lovely, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Well, let me get you to your rooms um, so that you may enjoy your time here. How long will you be staying? I am assume. Okay, this is meta game. Mm -hmm. Klaus said to come back in two weeks. Do we want to yeah. spend? I don't oh. think we can spend two yeah, weeks there. I don't think we no, can spend no. two weeks there. I mean, so how about we could always do the thing that we've been doing, where it's like, okay, here's the main event, and then you spend the rest of the time there. Sam, do you yeah, have yeah. an arc? Do you have an arc planned for the beach? No. Please say yes. <laughs> no. no, I have, no. I have like a stuff planned for the beach. But yeah. Like yeah, I think we could chill out for like most of a week or something, and then worry about if we want to go back to our well before we go back to Klaus. Yeah, so I think should should Octavia say we're staying here like seven days, or like yeah. five days? How about five days? Sure. Why, okay. why limit ourselves to just five and not seven? All right. Yeah, yeah we, can, we can do seven. Okay, <laughs> it's just like, it, Klaus, yeah. it was wishy, wishy washy of like a week, two weeks, and like, yeah. which amount? <laughs> so, but yeah, a week. We'll That's stay fair. a week. Okay. Excellent, excellent. We will make sure that uh, you are properly seen to all, all of your needs. Feel feel free to ask any, any of the wait staff. We'd be happy to attend to you any moment much obliged sir please follow me inside ladies gentlemen and others <laughs> i realize he's probably referring to the animals but also true <laughs> <laughs> yeah big, big true big ladies true. gentlemen gamers and, and animals <laughs> <laughs> ladies gentlemen the guy that's both at once and animals. Yeah, is there is there like <laughs> Any equivalent for no, I guess. Yeah, what yeah. what is the the formal equivalent for someone with uh, spicy pronouns? <laughs> I mean, Val is fine with being called lady or ladies gentleman. and gentlemen, but like you got to yeah. be both. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else can sleep in the barn. <laughs> lady, um, uh, lady gentleman, if you will. I'm Excellent. the bar. I'm the barn boy. That's how I got in this in this entire campaign in the first place. Yeah, Archibald sees a barn you... on the horizon and Kill Bill sirens start. Playing. Until <laughs> no, Val Val exists in a uh, super state where he is both lady and gentleman until called. Slay. Yeah, Shrungers, Slay. Shrungers Valente. Literally. <laughs> All right, uh, but Shrung he does guide gentle. you inside. Um, he's he he pays special attention to uh the creatures. Um, and he says, and will your, uh, distinguished mounts be staying with us the entire time as well? Yes. I assume so. Excellent. Well, let me just, uh, call over some stable hands and we shall have them attended to at once. Um, and some guys in, like, stable uniforms come up. Uh, you letting your critters go? Um, Octavia goes to hug Jupiter. He's like, we'll go out for a night flight before bed, buddy. He, uh, chitters. He seems pleased with this. The smell of the ocean is getting him excited. Yeah! Um, Garlic doesn't particularly love sand. It's not sand here. Yeah. Which I, that's... He, he, so, but, like, <laughs> other than that, he's like, I don't really care. Do I get to hang out with my buddy, though? Yeah, yeah, Jupiter, yeah? Jupiter is right there. Stay, as long as he gets to stay with Jupiter, he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, the the um the stables seem to be kind of just like big stalls for everyone, so you could really fit anything in there with the reason. So they park a uh, garlic and Jupiter right next to each other. Like, oh, these are the 
the dignitaries melt. Yeah. Make sure they get only the finest hay and meat. Hey. Uh, <laughs> my little trivia tangent is uh, horse sand for horses actually a, a good. You like it? Beach horses are totally a thing. Oh and yeah, I've definitely seen beach horses. North, oh, yeah, no, North, it's, but garlic's North, got the the fluff. Yeah, gar yeah, uh, yeah. Garlic has the fluff on the bottom, so it gets stuck in there. And also, he's a fire emblem mount, so his movement goes down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Outer Banks, North Sorry. Carolina, a bunch of Spanish conquistadors or explorers or something. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dropped a bunch Damn, of fucking horses go... and. Uh, yeah. I've seen them. I go to the very no, I, I know how beach horses work because my older sister rode a beach horse and then had an allergic reaction so bad she had to take two doses of Benadryl. Oh, right. that's yeah. the horse that, of the beach. That, that story was like cute from for the a few horse. seconds and then got sad. Oof, ow. Well, from the feel horse. better. This is a power uh, horse. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, uh, it. Garlic just doesn't like that it's harder to walk. He's like, bitch. Understandable. Uh, one of the stable hands also, like, goes to Millicent, like, okay, where's your leash, creature? You look like I'm out. Um, but she growls at him and he backs off. Uh, Millicent is more of a companion than a mount. I see. Ah, uh, well then, I assume the hound is... Bathroom trained? Yes. She can open doors, actually. Good to know! <laughs> Alright! Um, <laughs> well... Octavia says it like, yes, she can open doors. Isn't she smart? But also, like, I think you should lock doors she, you don't want her to get into. Yeah, uh, a bunch of the maids scurry <laughs> off seemingly to do that exact thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he, he just says, ah, well then, um... The hound can stay with you. Perhaps, uh, she'll get along with the other animals on the estate. Haha. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Anyways. What, what oh. other animals? Oh, well, of course, King Klaus keeps his own, uh, pet dogs here. Oh, okay. Nothing, uh, nothing as, uh, impressive as your dog, but, uh, you know, hunting hounds and all. Mm hmm If if any of you would like to go hunting, just let one of the uh the maids know and we'll prepare a horse and a uh prey for you. Much obliged. Alright. Follow me inside, please. Uh and he leads you inside the spacious abode. Um once inside you can see that um it seems like a lot of people are cleaning up after the last group of people. You don't know who was here before you. Um, mm -hmm. But clearly they just left recently um, because there's still people uh, turning the place over, cleaning as much as they can to prepare for you guys. Um, and the head butler shows you each to a very large, um, like, private room. Um, Gare, obviously, when he is tried to... <laughs> when the guy tries to give him his own room, he's like, ah, oh, no, 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 I'm with, I'm with Valente. Guard. And the guy's just like, oh, okay, whatever. Less rooms to clean later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering, Octavia is like, should I ask, say it's fine for Archibald and I to have the same room? She's like deliberating on it, but she doesn't quite say it fast enough. <laughs> it's do you, uh, uh, you know what? Inside world for Archibald, it's bad. It's a six. He's just like, whoa, big, big house. Yeah, oh, big house. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. Well, Tonight! <laughs> well, let's say for one is relieved that they're actually going to have their own room with a lock on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's where they can both actually fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's well, been closet. It's been yeah. a few months. <laughs> yeah, it's been a few months. It's been a long few months. <laughs> Amalthea's uh, gonna jump in and say that she wants to be roomies with Ardol. Um, Aww. Because, well, she takes a look at him and he's like, this guy's gonna get lost. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Absolutely. That's probably true, but also he did her brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it, she's, she's, she smiles when she looks at him. She's like, oh, little fucking guy. <laughs> what the <laughs> shit? <laughs> um, and when the man gestures towards Alaga, um, Godfrey steps in and he says, I will stay with her for the night. And obviously Millicent follows him wherever he goes, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyone else want to share rooms, Edwin? <laughs> Hang out with Marie? No. <laughs> no. He, 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 he probably has a, He probably picks a room next to, like, Amalthea just in case anything happens and the other people who she would normally go to are too busy fucking. <laughs> That's so honorable, Edwin. Um, <laughs> thank you, Edwin. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, they're all they're all kind of in the same wing of the house, and it, it it's not just the hallway this time. It's like an actual entire wing. You guys have your wow. own like mm-hmm. dining area and everything. Um, yeah. But each of your rooms, it's got like uh, depending on like how many people and whether or not they're sleeping in the same bed. There's either one or two like large beds. Um, you know, big wardrobe full of all sorts of clothes. Um, Damn. <laughs> big open window that you can see the ocean out of uh or on the other side you can see like the rolling hills either way it's a beautiful view um and just like it's 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 a very fancy like it's simple but in like the deceptively rich person simple kind of way mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like the two thousand dollar white t-shirt sort of vibe um, yeah <laughs> it's clear everything here is of extremely good make even if it looks like something you could find at like a farmer's market um mm-hmm. But, yeah, other than that, oh, and there's also, like, a little bell on one of the nightstands in each room um, that you can use to summon a maid or butler, uh, should you need their help. Uh, and the head butler is, just says, like, oh, if you want food outside of mealtimes or you need help with clothing of any sort, um, just ring the bell, someone will hear you, someone will be here in a couple of minutes, or if there's, like, an emergency, Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Actually, may I have your name, sir? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! It's okay. It's okay. I had typed in behind wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the name. Mm-hmm. But the name. Uh, his name is... Oh, what the fuck? I can't spell this out. His name is Otto. Cool. O-T-T-O. He's got a mustache. Excellent, nice. more mustache. Uh, but he bows to all of you and he says, uh, dinner should be prepared uh, in just a mere couple of moments, so please get settled. Um, and when you are ready, come down to the dining area and you will be served. Thank you very much. Of course. And he takes his leave. Garrett okay, turns to uh- all of you and he says, that guy thinks we're rich. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell him. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I have no idea how. What did Klaus put in that letter? Whatever They're he felt like, I'm sure. Yeah. Dignitaries. Surely he's the king, though, right? Like, he could have just said, these are my guests or something. Yeah. Or. Or that butler's just really damn good at his job. We should tip him. I mean, we should, but <laughs> Octavia singing about like, but then she's like, "Wait, this is an in." How big of a tip would he be expecting? Yeah, like to be how big of a tip? <laughs> mm-hmm. Gives him one gold. Go buy yourself something. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be like I don't know, at least a hundred. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, I'm gonna freshen up before dinner. <laughs> or sorry, does Gare have something else to say? No, Gare is just kind of like shaking his head, like, "Damn, foreign dignitaries. I've come so far. I've achieved <laughs> yeah, so much." We have. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not actually. That's a lie. But <laughs> uh, Amalthea takes Arnold by the hand and kind of like. She's leading him, but, like, he's running, and she's not. 
Um, <laughs> she's only partially slowing down for him to keep pace. Uh, she says, let's go look at our room. And he follows after her. Obviously, she's got his hand. Um, Godfrey disappears to help Alika. Merope, um, just, she's... It's very clear that she's never seen anything of this caliber before. She's oh, never boy. been in a place like this before. Um, I so think she's Octavia, just kind of in awe. Octavia comes back from her and was like, Hey, do you want to dress up for dinner together? I... I don't think I brought anything nice enough. Don't worry, they have clothes. Clothes? Can we just wear these? I think we can Are just borrow them. I think so. We can just oh. borrow them if we choose. I'll have to look. Oh, wow. I guess I didn't realize what kind of place this would be. I sort of thought we would just be going to an inn. I mean, I didn't expect the inn, but I didn't expect it to be this big. But that's what happens when you're the king, I guess. You guys really have made some pretty impressive friends, huh? Yeah, I think it's because they find us funny. <gasps> ah, well, better than them finding you, uh, you know, anything else. True. I think I want to explore that closet a little bit. Uh, if you see anything red, I'll, I'll take it. Sure thing. Uh, and she goes in her room. She doesn't close the door, and you can hear her, like, moving hangers around the closet and kind of, like, quietly gasping yourself, like, oh, well, I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. I think Octavia goes to look at the closet, trying to find, like, a nice evening gown or dress for dinner. Yeah. But also looking for stuff nice, that's red. Very nice evening gowns. Um, Hell yeah. You don't find much that's red. Um... You find, you find, like, mostly, uh, Finbar colors, so purple is the primary one. Mm -hmm. Um. Purple. But, yeah, uh, she, Morope sounds like she's having a great time in there, so. <laughs> she's clearly, she's clearly fine with the lack of her, uh, her favorite. That's but, fair. I, is there any pink? Yes, there is pink. Octavia picks a pink one. Excellent. Is everyone else going through the wardrobes? Are you guys just uh, wearing what you got? Um, I think Edwin goes in his room and shuts the door. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye, Edwin. What's uh, what's Valente doing? Uh, well, there. um, <laughs> right there. <Yes. here? laughs> Not yet. Um, <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, Gare is kind of like, he goes in, and he's like, wanders over to the mattress, and he like, you know, he's testing it out. <laughs> he's seeing the vibe. He's got, a, he's got a, the look in his eye of a man with a plan. <laughs> Val will address that in a second. Man with a plan and a dick First... in his pants. <laughs> a man, a plan, a plan. No pants. He's still wearing his <laughs> pants. Panama. For now. Um. He's got dinner to eat first. Um. Sorry. <laughs> I just my I had really to take bad, it. My really bad attempt at a joke is getting me. Um. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Uh, Val is, so, Val's gonna make sure that, uh, Amalthea and Ardle are, that, like, they're made to the room, to Yeah, they've room. torn they're... the closet apart, basically. Um, there's clothes everywhere. <laughs> Val is going Ardle's to basically... wearing a giant floppy hat. He looks like a UFO. <laughs> nice. She's very proud of him. Um, however, she is, uh, she, she's going to kind of be like, hey, uh, as much as everyone here is doing this stuff, this nice stuff for us, we have to repay their hospitality and treat their things nicely. Um, we don't want King Klaus thinking we're slobs and never inviting us back. 
Val doesn't think they're ever being invited back anyway, but she doesn't want them ripping the clothes open or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amalia oh, yeah. carefully puts Ardol. back the dress uh, she was holding a little bit rougher than perhaps she intended, um, but she puts it back like it's made of, like, spider silk, like, oh, so gentle. Yeah, Val's like, you're allowed to try this stuff on, just be careful with it, please don't, and if you, uh, if you rip anything, if you stain anything, uh, let me know, we can address it then, but just please, uh, understand that we're guests in someone else's house, and so we should treat their stuff with respect and care, please. Ardle, uh looks up at you, still wearing the hat, and he says, well, be careful! I believe you. And then Val looks at Amalfia like, can I trust you to watch over your little brother? Amalfia, uh, <laughs> kind of gives you like an eye roll like oh obviously but she's she's like yeah i'll make sure he doesn't eat anything <laughs> uh val <laughs> smiles warmly at her and says thank you uh kisses them both on the forehead and then says uh good night we're gonna eat oh right i i'll yeah i'll see you i'll see you at dinner i should say then <laughs> No, no food for the children. <laughs> no, no, they get to eat. Val just <laughs> Val was thinking of the night ahead. <laughs> yeah, Val, Val's, Val's gonna look like <laughs> good night. <laughs> I have a mission that needs to happen eventually, Go to bed. and I was focused Mommy on that. has to fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, say, the, the, Sam saying those words will haunt me forever. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> I just want to be oh if I said daddy. Oh my god. That in the quotes chat. What I know. What do you want if I said daddy? No. I don't think so. The mommy would. The mommy is worse because it's. It it's what you would call yourself. Yeah, it could be self-referential. I know it isn't, but it could have been. Yeah. Hang on a second. I'm. I need to uh, deafen myself for a minute for uh, reason. What is he doing? Oh no! Jeffy, come back! <laughs> Did he just go to the Shadow Realm? What's going on? Jeffy just muted and deafened. <laughs> <laughs> I think he. I think, maybe I think he's he needs, cackling somewhere. He needs to process what just oh. happened. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Okay. Um, well, in that case, what. Well, I was gonna go to Archibald next. Oh, he's Ooh, back. I'm, I'm back. back. I'm back. Okay, I'm back. well, it's your turn. Archibald, uh, how you doing? I wasn't doing? clip. I wasn't clipping the quote. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> but, um, Archibald, uh, are you and Octavia sharing a room? Remind me. I would they assume. Okay. <laughs> All right, Octavia's by, the, Octavia's by the Octavia's by the wardrobe uh, picking up something. Nice. Uh, uh, Archibald is like, oh no, wait, was I not supposed to? Um, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I thought that you. I was just too to... chicken. I was too chicken shit to ask. Okay, so yeah, this is. Oh. Fine. Oh. I mean. Yeah, no. We're, we're, this is. Yeah. Yeah. Octavia is busily going to look through more dresses, even though she already picked out a dress. Hmm. <laughs> Archibald's like, well, what do I do now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Archibald. What do you do now? Hmm. Do you think that I should pick out something here, or should I just sort of put... Should I get ready, or should I just use those earrings? I mean, they have stuff that might be your style, too. They have a lot of purple. I like purple. 
They do have purple. Mm-hmm. Is it are, is the stuff in the same closet? I assume. Yeah, right. It's if we're one, in the same it's room. It's like it's not a walk-in closet, but it's like a wall of closet. Mm -hmm. It's not like a tiny mm -hmm. little wardrobe. It's like a big wardrobe. And it's and it's divided like things for short people to things to tall people, you know, pants, shirt, dresses, robes, and basically any type of clothing you can imagine. And presumably people in other rooms have other stuff. Mm -hmm. Ar uh, Archibald's just gonna finger through the clothes and see what's what's there what works what what's the vibe anything in particular you're looking for oh my god sorry i just read mallow in the fucking chat holy shit wait where's um, mallow in the chat in the quotes oh chat. no oh quotes. <laughs> oh oh oh, <laughs> oh. I'm not gonna say that aloud, but We're not yeah, gonna I say that you, aloud. you leaned into your mic and said, "Mommy, needs to fuck into yeah, the but mic that's today." It didn't sound what do you body mean? Parts. That's different. It didn't involve yeah, that body is parts. Different from that. <laughs> that you can technically say, I think, in a PG-13 movie. The other thing you can't. <laughs> yeah. You're allowed to say one fuck in a PG-13 movie. We've said way more than what? one. <laughs> oh, we've said more than one, but this isn't a PG-13 stream. But That's true. you can, you literally, you can't say any of that sentence that Mal just typed in quotes. God, yeah. If, I ever, if I ever rerun this specific campaign with another group, I need to up the <laughs> rating. I think I did say it was PG-13. It is uh -oh. not. <laughs> it's not. No, it's, it's, no. It's uh, rated R. <laughs> it's okay. We're all grown ups. What part of the, uh, no. yeah, the even the, the the fuck jokes aside, uh, there's like so much oh my God. horrible rated gore PG and violence. For you know, violence. It's fine. Yeah, kids violence. love violence. Kids love violence. <laughs> I can't get enough of this it. This is true. This is true. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, you're in the room for with Octavia. Oh, Hello. don't say it like oh. that. You're the one. It's literally they are in the same room. They are sharing a room. What do I you know, want I to know. wear to dinner? Uh, right. I mean, depends on what they got. Um, they got nice shit. <laughs> Octavia already picked a, like a yeah, nice. Yeah, Archibald's looking yeah. looking through. Is like, what do nobles of in modern day, or what do people today? rich people wear what did they even do i most of my experience personal experience with rich anyone with a closet like this is from about a thousand years ago probably out of date i don't think they would and most of them were priest robes and shit Ugh. right well, usually the really rich folks, I, I don't know if this is the case in Finbar, but usually they dress in nicer outfits for formal dinners, different from what they wear during the day. Well, sure, but what qualifies? I don't know. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I think you can do well with anything here, and it'll be fine. No one's going to judge you for what you gravitate towards. I say just pick what you feel like you'd like to wear. All right. Hmm. Has he seen what Octavia's wearing yet? Like, have you... I'm assuming, yeah. Like, he probably sees her, like, pick a specific pink evening gown. It's, like, resting on a chair somewhere, so it's very clear she picked that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, let's see uh oh is there anything that's like a more ornate version so you know i sent you the version of our from his youth where he's wearing like the black fully robe, mm -hmm. like detective like almost a tactician thing yeah. is there like a fancier version of that yeah like, there's like riding coats and stuff and yeah that's robes. the vibe long, long nice. fancy coat 
mm-hmm. pants and shirt underneath and the whole maybe like a silk shirt that whole thing little, whole deal. little fancy vest or something mm-hmm. yeah they definitely have that and it's it's got like the gold embellishments all down the front um like if robin fire emblem was more into purple and also loaded <laughs> yeah I mean that grandmaster fit is pretty often. Yeah, yeah. Picture yeah, no, the grandmaster fit. It's, it's, it's the, it's the, it's the dark overcoat with like fur trimming. That's like the thing. Slay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Slay. definitely a lot of that. All right. Uh, you two. Sam, uh, Sam, Sam, and Rand ask, uh, the world's most basic boy to dress up his character at yeah, the end. It's... It's like, I don't know what to do in real life. We are playing fashion souls disguised as an RPG experience. Ah. I've given you the opportunity to do bathing suit and fancy dinner. So go crazy. (laughs) I wear, like, pants and a shirt. Help. Archibald's like, bathing suit? (laughs) <laughs> I'm just a dragon. Yeah, no, I don't I, wear I, this is this is like a weird catharsis for me. I've made someone who's so. Fu- I know what a. I am basic, but I know what a bathing suit is. I am <laughs> better than him. Yeah. Better than the fictional. I have created a literal straw man to fall <laughs> down and say, "Oh, look, he's, he's a dirt man. He's a dirt man. Yeah, look at how look at how much worse I could be at this. Look at it." <laughs> He's sitting there on that <laughs> rock. <laughs> but does he pick like the gra- more of the grandmaster fit with the nice robes and the riding vest? You know, and a little decorative all that? armor. Ah, uh, I don't know if the armor is necessary for dinner. Uh, in this yeah, case, it's, it's probably not. <laughs> I don't know if they'd have armor yeah, also in the closet. You're matching an evening gown. I don't think you need armor. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Plus, I'm um, just saying, Fire Emblem, right? Yeah, yeah. Fire Emblem. Uh, I think Octave... Octay... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, he'll pick, like, for the stuff underneath the coat, maybe something more... Whatever matches an evening gown, man. Yeah, let's go with, like, a sort of thing. That that seems like that works. A little cravat action. <laughs> cravat, yeah, yeah, probably cravat. Does Archibald know how to tie a cravat? I don't know how to tie a cravat. Would Archibald hang on? Maybe Octavia you also don't knows know how, to, how turn to. to a dragon, so. Hey. <laughs> That's true. Like, you could roll to see if he knows. Yeah, do you want to make a skill check? Hang on, I'm looking up a cravat for my own reference purposes. Like remember. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's like yeah, an edge right, 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 right. <laughs> It's like an ascot for the wealthy. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. As if ascots weren't all also for the wealthy. <laughs> Me roll up to Red my job. art teacher job in an ascot. <laughs> Did you really? No, I think that'd be funny though. I have a, like a pirate one from a Halloween costume. Excellent. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's gonna be. Uh, He's never done it before, but yet he rolls a what even is that? Twenty five? Twenty five? Damn. He's he knows the, he's a thief. He knows knots. <laughs> it's not hard. Fancy. Yeah. Uh oh yeah. Octavia goes over and is like, You look nice. Ah, thank you. You as well. Oh, wow, I said that more formally than normal. This is... <laughs> he, he looks around the room like, ooh, rich person house. It's weird. <laughs> let, the record show I, let the record show I didn't speak like that even when I did live in Castle. Oh, no. Are the clothes haunted? Uh, no, I don't think the clothes are haunted. Maybe me a little bit, but you know. I like you how you are. Haunted. Yeah, haunted. I pro- I'm pretty sure you probably don't like being haunted, but... Uh... Hey, 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 you get used to it. 
I'm I'm thinking Octavia also would put on the evening gown, hair is down, and probably she did like a good brushing and a little bit of hair oil. So it was like she looks ready to go <laughs> to dinner. Fancy. Mm. Fancy. All right. Archival, uh, oh, no, Archival does something approximate to what he la- he like sort of takes what it is in his sprite and like ties it up a bit, but he's no god. He's not a god yet. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Are either of you taking the earrings? Octavia is curious about them, and she's like, "Should you... I try these on?" Oh, sure. Actually, that's before Amalthea stuck them in my ears. I was just going to surprise you with them tonight. So, uh, oh, <laughs> Octavia blushes at that, and then is like, "Okay." <laughs> nice. <laughs> Octavia is also thinking, "I have something for you in the convoy." Oh, <laughs> I don't think I should give it right now, but hmm, maybe I should later. <laughs> a ring, a ring, yeah. And, uh, this is out. This is out of character, obviously. A ring. Yeah. You, you, you're saying you're saying there's a ring in the convoy for Archibald. Ooh, yeah, ring, there, eh? there is a there is a ring in the convoy specifically saying for Archibald that Octavia bought. <laughs> the uh the uh Archibald's uh newly purchased ring and also his like old had this since I was a child life ring just sort of both burning holes pockets. Out somewhere, like oh, <laughs> one of us will be chosen eventually. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Aww. honestly, we'll see what happens. I think my current plan is Octavia's gonna give that to him before shit gets crazy. So we'll see. But Octavia puts on the earrings, like she takes out her usual earrings, sets them aside so that way they're safe, and puts on the earrings. What's Octavia's? Ten oh, out of shit. ten dream look definitely wearing more pronounced makeup that accentuates her features really nice like she oils her hair she takes care of her hair but it's very clear like it looks like someone brushed it for hours mm. <laughs> it's just delicately and almost like waves down her back and wow all that shit <laughs> The, like she's always much? pretty, but she looks real good right now. <laughs> out, of curio- out of curiosity, sorry, is it? Does this happen as you put on one earring, or does it have? To it's kind of like half and half. Like you put on one, and you're like, "Wow, you look good, queen," and then you put on the other, and you're like, you're "Venus." <laughs> <laughs> Goes from uh, like Instagram filter to like, oh, radiance of the gods. You're just hot. You're just wow. <laughs> it's like, oh. And he just stands there staring, uh, growing <laughs> redder with every second that he. Aww. Oh, no, what? Octavia's the side, like, he's like, oh. Looks confused, like, Archibald, are you okay? <laughs> yep. I'm good. Well, I get and you are uh, great. You look great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't wear these too often. <laughs> um, no, 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 I didn't say that. You look great. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't want you to get distracted when you need to focus. <gasps> oh. Well, I mean, this is just dinner. Do, do whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just dinner. And she links her arm in Archibald's, ready for dinner. Excellent. But before we go to dinner, let's check up on the other crew members. Valente, what are you wearing to uh, the event, Elliot? Uh, uh, to the function? Dwyer, think... too, Dwyer, too, makes noises of pain when asked to describe clothing. <laughs> I, no, no, no. I genuinely think Val looks in the closet makes a face and goes and puts on the same outfit from the banquet <laughs> at uh, Infinbar, because he's like, hmm. 
These were all fa- these- I don't know. I'm gonna go put on the clothes that are mine, so if I rip them, no one gets mad but Gare me. Garrett watches you do- do this, and he, like, kind of laughs as you go back to your stuff. It's like, I think- I think these are free for taking, you know? I don't- f they make me uncomfortable. Ah, well, you don't want that. It's okay. You look good in your clothes. Unless- I was about to say, unless you want me to wear those clothes. No, no. Wear whatever you like. Thank you. I, however... No, absolutely, go ahead. <laughs> and he goes to the closet. He finds some sort of, like, purple overcoat sort of vibe. A little bit more avant-garde than perhaps most of the fancy clothes in the closet, but given his preference for half-clothes, um, you know... <laughs> It's it's his preference. Um, yeah. Yeah. He's dressing gaily. <laughs> he's he's maybe got one more button on his shirt undone than is strictly necessary for a fancy noble dinner. But uh, you know, <laughs> is that show off the goods? Gotta show off the goods. <laughs> All right, and then Edwin, you are um, in your room. How you doing? How you doing in there, Edwin? Oh, Edwin. Um. Honestly, oh. he's not great, but um, oh. that's beside the point. Um, he he's just wearing his uh clothes that he got in Kadame, probably. Mm -hmm. Um, in part because uh he was not really focused on that; he was focused on uh he had a letter he was writing. Mm -hmm. He was writing a letter in the room. Yes. Is that something you need to send to me? It is. Okay. I mean, he hasn't sent oh. it yet. Okay, okay. Oof. No, that's fine. Don't, don't, I, I'm not rushing yeah. you. I'm just saying, don't forget to actually no, send yeah, it to me. No, yeah, don't, don't, don't <laughs> worry. I will make sure it is in your hands when he has sent it. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Edwin, yeah. Edwin is focused on the task. No time how, for fancy dinners. Yeah. How, how long would you say everyone is hanging out in their rooms? Um, probably like a hot minute half an hour an hour okay they the okay. butler and maids definitely made it sound like oh just come down when you're ready and we will have it like for yeah. you then like we are at your timing i see we operate on your I schedule see. yeah um, okay <laughs> suspicious <laughs> no it's just like i was just like it's not a short letter, so probably someone has to, like, knock on his door and be like, hey, we're going to dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, someone does knock on your door. You hear knocking. Yeah. Yeah. Evan will go get it. Uh, it's Merope. Um. Oh. She's wearing an outfit she found. She found, like, a, a reddish-pink dress. She didn't find anything red. But, um, mm. uh, you know, she... She's done simple makeup, simple hairstyle, everything. Uh, yeah. But it looks classy. It looks nice. Um, yeah. But she takes a look at you and she says, Haven't seen you uh, in a little bit. I think everyone's getting ready for dinner soon. You okay in there? Uh, yeah. Insight check? <laughs> She's going to make an insight <laughs> yeah. check. Yeah. <laughs> I forget, do I do something against that or is she just she's just looking? You can make like a deception check if you're not good. If you want to try to hide if you're not good. Yeah. Um Was that a no or a yes? On. I heard Nia. No, I'm and yeah, <laughs> that's the problem. I'm thinking about it. Um I'll do a deception. Okay, go check. Ahead. Uh, he's negative proficient at it, if I remember correctly. Hold on, I have to find my sheet. Uh, yeah, he sure is. is my sheet. <laughs> yeah. She's um, level two, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. Sorry, I'm doing math. That's no, okay. Uh, 13. She got a 9. So, uh, yeah. she accepts your answer. She's I mean, like, it's oh, like, probably just tired. Yeah, it's like, because I mean, like, 
insight, like, if she fails the insight check, she doesn't know what's wrong, yeah. but, like, I don't, I, I don't think you can miss that, like, like, he looks like he was crying before or something, Aww. like, that kind of thing. Okay, well, she yeah. did, she did fail her insight check, so maybe she takes, like, a second little look at you, but she doesn't yeah. say anything. She's saying, yeah. you look a little hungry. Maybe it's time to go? Uh, yeah, alright. Um, let me just get the thing I was writing. Oh, sure. Yeah, I gotta go fish Godfrey out of his room anyway. Yeah, that sounds about right. And she walks We're off. We're gonna be alone in a room together. Yeah. But no, his mom is there. <laughs> Godfrey's rooming with his mom. <sighs> you yeah. weirdo. Yeah, you're a weirdo. And his and Millicent. And Millicent. And yeah. Millicent? She will tell. Yeah. yeah. She'll tell. talk. Yeah. It is it is literally, you know that vibe when you're with your family on vacation and you just all have to share a hotel room? It's that vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah. I need to use the bathroom. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Take a little break. Yeah. I'm not going to get another fudge square, because I'm not going to lie. The last one did not make me feel good. <laughs> oh, no. I don't regret eating oh, no. it, though. I mean, yeah, yeah that, that makes it, sense. How does it make you feel? What's the vibe? Mm, I feel like a sponge that's full of water. So you, like, yeah. feel the fudge in you. Yeah, no, Becoming it's like... one with the sponge cake. Yeah. <laughs> when I... I have you ever eaten like something really solid and you can literally feel it moving? In oh you? yeah, it's like literally yeah. you ate a rock. It's in there. Yeah. Literally ate a rock. Yeah, it's like, your in there. your stomach is currently just like a mold for a bunch of fudge. No, yeah, not for digesting. Real. It's... Thankfully, <laughs> I have not to brag, but I have a pretty powerful stomach. I very rarely <laughs> get actually like sick, sick, except for that time I That's ate good. two week expired yeah. cake. But even yeah, then, do that. it had been processed. No like, very little came no up. <laughs> I don't know how you, like, ate that. Yeah. <laughs> my, like... my stomach acid is, like, battery acid. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> been, it's, it's, been, it's been prepared for this with years yeah. and years. Yeah, of... God, I wish that were me. My stomach but... throws a fit, like, oh. anything. But it has its own problems diagnosable problems yeah <laughs> yeah um but yeah i can feel it in there it's getting chipped away it's at. moving there's gonna be okay, some Donna, interesting like... sounds coming out of me later i can tell oh, it's okay <laughs> i'm gonna post damage in this chat and i want you to tell me what tabletop character it is oh no yeah. okay tag yourself meme yeah Hmm. Oh, Edwin. <laughs> Edwin. Yeah. yeah, it's Edwin. Yeah. Soft, but not available yeah. for mistreatment. Exactly. I can't wait to draw a bunch of guys in funny little outfits. Every day, the world is beautiful. <laughs> I still need yeah. to draw yeah. Son of Earth, Amalthea, Godfrey, yeah. and yeah. Klaus. Did you yeah. draw uh, And Godfrey. Mar Godfrey got the class. Yeah, I said Godfrey. <laughs> Oh, have you already right. drawn uh, Merope doing MILF things? I have that... not. I need to get to that as well. You guys aren't going to the beach tonight, obviously. It's yeah, like we're, yeah, we're just having dinner. Fancy dinner and after. Like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, after. Yeah, there's an after. <laughs> there's an after. Uh, we might see if we can get some dreams in there, but who knows. Actually, let me roll those up. I don't know if we'll get there, because it might be too late. Damn. I heard noises, and it's like, oh, Donna just found her toy. Okay, she's going wild. Aw, oh, Donna. Hi, Donna. I love Donna. She's yes. the beast. She is literally the beast. Yeah. She is literally, if Millicent was very small, with green <laughs> eyes. So <Yeah>. true. <laughs> she can open Spooky doors. Spooky is, what if Millicent was very small, but still a dog? <laughs> so basically... When you see Pomeranian. an alien, you're like, how much is this, like, Millicent? <laughs> <laughs> you remind me I of think, Millicent somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I think Millicent is, like, a Pomeranian would be pretty good, though. Yeah. Nothing yeah, else has changed true. about her. She's still 
She's still some she's... manner of beast, but she's yeah. just, you know, the size of a small handbag. Yeah, yeah, but it's, like, somehow even more unnerving to see that in a small dog. Yeah. Oh, little guy alert. <laughs> little guy. Is Nolan coming to dinner with us? I fucking Depends. hope so. <laughs> I, hope, I hope she has a little handkerchief on. <laughs> You can like from the like from the groomers, just like a little, a little, a little yeah. bandana yeah. around the neck, like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be cute, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like the creature. Hold on, I'm rolling up dreams. I feel like gotta yeah. get to Bill Hala faster. There's so many characters there. They're so full of texture. I know! I yeah. wanna see them. Yes, there's gonna be so many The real problem characters. is finding places for you to sleep in proximity to them. But there's like oh, inns and yeah. stuff. And jail. Yeah. Yeah. You know how it is. I mean, i love for us to go to Sandrine. That sounds interesting. That is literally the only... Why are you so excited? City. So excited about Sandrine? Out of curiosity. Because, because specifically, Exidia found little soaps there. <laughs> yeah, you want to get some little soaps? <laughs> yeah, I want to get some little soaps. That's literally the only thing I know about you know Sandrine. What? Justified. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, time. Sam, you are a connoisseur of soaps. I do like fun-shaped soap. I will not deny this fact. <laughs> Though I hate when you use them and they become a lump. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the downsides. I only get, like, the honeycomb soap from Lush because it's like, it is literally just already a block. Fancy. <laughs> no sadness. <laughs> yeah, uh, we just use, like, a dove soap here, but... Oh, you nice. Know, whenever I'm at a fancy place, I'm like, oh, my little soap now. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. You take so, the hotel soaps? I. Absolutely. Bestie, I take the hotel everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah, she doesn't just. You can't she, reuse that. I know, yeah. yeah. I'm like, it's already hotel. in my room. It, she doesn't just take that shit. She eats the hotel I soap. I do not eat the hotel soap as that's, far as that's the, any law. How do you think her stomach was so braced for the fudge? <laughs> it's a white it's, soap. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's If it can process the soap, the little hotel soap bars, it can process anything. <laughs> yeah, I think that's true. <laughs> yes, that's the only true part of that thing I just yeah, said. Yeah, a scientist. Yeah. He of knows. computers, but don't let that stop you. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> what is the body if not a computer made of meat? If you really yeah. think about it. Yeah. Well, I can, yeah. I can, I can, I I can puke fudge Jack into <laughs> refuse. <laughs> God. Oh, God, the stack overflow thing. Got me for some fucking reason. Oh, that's probably not as funny as my brain thinks it is but clearly it is so fuck ah. that was just the first computer term that came to my mind uh, yeah I'm very bad memory. at parallel processing but I'm sure there's people who are good at it ain't that a mode <laughs> oh hold on I did a fucky wucky I had a plan oh no I, I have the plan uh -oh. again got it catched Nice. Mm -hmm. Congrats. Sorry, uh, I'm going to uh, just real quick watch that clip again from times <laughs> earlier. I just need to hear that again and die a little inside. <gasps> Why do you do that to yourself? I'm gonna, I'm gonna Sorry, I'm just gonna put that clip on it and go to the bathroom. Have fun. Oh, that's fair. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. Oh, he's already gone. Think of us. <laughs> As you poo. I think of my friends Mommy all the time because that's the fun. power of friendship. Okay, Mommy you guys can get me through anything. Oh my god! <laughs> I I'm so glad that the power of friendship helps you in such trying times, Sam. You are also. What is the power of friendship in this case? What are we talking about? The power Help of friendship your... is the power of friendship. Yeah. You ever fight the demons is... in the bathroom? And you're like, no, <laughs> my friends wouldn't want me to fall here. <laughs> Gear thinks. 
be scared to the mouth like <laughs> Val wouldn't want me to <laughs> die like this. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I have two kids. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I have I didn't... headphones on right now, so I heard all of that. Well, <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't aware. Oh, way. Way. oh yeah. god! <laughs> no, there's nothing to apologize about. It was very funny. No. <laughs> Hi, I, 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 I've returned. <laughs> oh, Dwyer. Oh no, Dwyer! It's been so. You've you've. You what you left and like it, <laughs> hell itself. Uh, the, the gates to hell opened up and and some fucking weird it's bullshit crazy. walked in and it's like hello. I need time okay. for the fuck time for all the fucky jokes. Oh boy. Our friendship give give let's dare <laughs> get through the hard times in his life. Let's say that. IBS. It, they're talk they, they had a gear IBS article. You were gone. It's a I can't blame them considering. It what was going on with my gut while that was gone. Oh, no. No. That's not funny. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I am an, uh, I don't have IBS. I have just a strange gastrointestinal system. And I'm honestly glad it was as good as it was because I felt an ominous bloating and I was like, Oh, no. I it's might be there for a while. The and then I wasn't. Gods. I, I can't <laughs> I hear I have two kids, Gare thinks, while taking a shit. Yeah, me too. Gare. Literally, oh like, I've been God. there. That's, no, I was literally thinking, um, I can't die here. I don't have my phone with me. They won't know that I'm going to be here for maybe happening? 45 minutes. And then I wasn't. Am I? Hello, uh, God. It's me, Margaret. What the fuck is happening? I'm not going to lie. Once like, I was walking to work. Maybe- I almost got hit mm-hmm. by a car when I was walking to work once because the guy turned on a red light and I was like, oh, no, God. it can't end like this. I tabletop on Wednesday. <laughs> thankfully, they did not hit me with their car. <laughs> no, thankfully. I'm oh, okay. God. Anyways. Yeah, that's good. Glad for your reason for living, Sam. Yeah. yeah. Listen, hard <laughs> Oh, Listen, oh, if I die, man. then you guys are never gonna know what happens. So, yeah, for real. Gotta yeah. protect do you have me. This, do you have the secret codex of the ending somewhere, or no. is it just no? No, I do not. <laughs> okay, you've just become in this moment a hundred. You were already like incredibly valuable <laughs> to me, like Get out down, of all Mr. people Press. in the world, incredibly. <laughs> you've just, like some. You've taken like uh. Number one and quintupled that. Okay, so you're like under armed guard now. Um, <laughs> oh, it's an honor. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so fun at the convention. Yeah. Obama, oh. it's been an honor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Bring you back. Bring you back. Bring you back. I can't um, feel my eyes. You, oh, no. as all of you, as all of you gather your fancy outfits to prepare for dinner. Um, you smell food being cooked so clearly, you know, it's, they're almost ready for you. Um, and you, Octavian Archibald, um, when you open the door, you hear, like, a plodding sound, like an animal. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, Millicent's walking up and down the hall, just kind of sniffing around, and as she turns to look at you, the sound of the door, you can see that she's wearing a bow tie. Yay! Oh, you look so good, Millicent! Uh, and at the other end of the hall, kind of, like, leaning against the wall, um, is Godfrey with his arms folded and just, like, a dark expression on his face. What? Yeah? Is he wearing anything or no? Yeah, he's he's kind of mangled together part of his archstage outfit with some various items, purplish mm-hmm. items from the closet. Uh... Octavia walks over to Godfrey. He's like, "What? What's going on?" Godfrey looks down at you without moving. He says, "My mother put a bow tie on my dog." <laughs> um. <coughs> to to be honest, I don't think Millicent minds. <sighs> I know. <laughs> That's the worst That's- part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Octavia has a moment it's just like it's only for the dinner you can take it off for after the dinner is she even allowed at the dinner 
I mean, I don't think right. they're going to say Who, no. Who's going to stop him? Yeah. I mean, she probably can't have a place, but she could probably hang out. Hmm. She can keep it for now. It's fine. Yeah. He does not look like it's fine, but he's... <laughs> <laughs> what's that? What's that one meme? You keep telling everyone it's keep fine, telling everyone but you're it's not fine, <laughs> but it's not fine, and it's just God and then literally, about his dog it's like a funny little bow tie. <laughs> yeah, and Octavia's like, it is literally a bow tie. It's not hurting her. He looks distressed. <laughs> okay, is this literally just the bow tie or something else going on? Uh, Millicent plods over to you, uh, and she's got her tail wagging. She looks happy to see you. Uh, she is wearing a sparkly purple bow tie. Hey, yes. uh, hey, Sam, does my, uh, dirty 20 on Insight on Godfrey get me anything? Uh, yeah, he doesn't like it when people put things on his dog. <laughs> on his dog! Okay. I mean, Just... that's, that's fair. She doesn't wear a collar, so. I had, I had, my other theory was, uh, the other obvious, uh, Godfrey emotional <laughs> pain point in the, in the house. Uh, oh, well, you weren't checking for that. That's <laughs> literally what I was doing. Maybe there's a little bit of that. Oof. Oof. Octavia. That's literally it's... why I roll. Yeah, Octavia is petting Millicent. It's like, yeah, you look so good. Uh, Merope's gonna assist Alika with coming out of the room, and she's leaning on her cane again. She seemed fine before, but clearly she's not feeling so hot now. Um, yeah, but she's she's not wearing like a fancy gown. She's wearing kind of like um like a nice not suit, but you know something mm -hmm. something a little looser. Um, uh, she looks around. She's like, mm, smells good out here. <laughs> this is Alica talking. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be steak or lobster. Both, or... I think. been a very long time since I had either of those things. It'll be a treat. Hmm. I could use a treat, I think. Merope kind of like smiles like, yeah, we could all use a fucking treat. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What's Godfrey doing? Godfrey is not looking at Merope so much. Oh! oh. oh. Octavia, he do be making real. a little bit of a face. Arch Archibald like nudges <laughs> Octavia very, very subtly, like a eye, eye darting between the two of them. It like, does not help that Merope <clears throat> is wearing a lower cut of shirt than perhaps she uh -huh. usually does. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's like Octavia I'm going to... and then Octavia is like, "Oh, Merope, you found the dress. It looks so nice on you." Oh. Thanks. You you look lovely as well. I really wasn't expecting anything, you know, uh, this perfect, but I guess, uh, you know, royalty always has enough of everything for everyone. <laughs> and she's clearly yeah. like, just kind of spinning words. <laughs> yeah, but also she's not Arte looking at like... Godfrey. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and, oh. oh god! Octavia is like, you... <laughs> Mm. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go check on on Bolete and Gare. I'll go check on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she is literally like, "Oh God, are they gonna be like this the entire meal?" <laughs> All right. But she uh, goes knocking on their door. Archibald, when Octavia leaves, Archibald's just. Standing there, visibly looking between two of them, specifically <laughs> back and forth, just... Hmm. Come on. When, when Octavia <laughs> leaves, um, Godfrey manages to, like, grind out that Merope does look nice, to what she says, ah, ah. thanks, and then they don't talk for the rest of the time. Oh my god, oh my are god. you serious? Are you fucking serious? Godfrey talking like literally he is going to be killed on the spot if he does not say this. And Murupi talking like Ugh. <laughs> the tension. 
the there's, unfortunate there's testing. Tensions. There's tensions. There's anthrax so much... in this fucking hallway. <laughs> there's so much <laughs> fucking anthrax. Where Octa is like, fuck it, I'm hot right now. I don't care. <laughs> Tim's like, I'm way too sexy for this right now. For your problems. <laughs> Because I know I can't solve it for the I am hydrated. I am in my lane. I am thriving. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Moisturize. Yeah. Goodbye. Hey, 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 Rand. Do you yeah. think that if we gave each of them one of the earrings at one point, that Here's they would the just thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Cheppy. they still want to fuck. <laughs> That's I know. not the problem. Good luck getting anywhere near Godfrey with a needle. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Like, uh, yeah. ears aren't pierced. I don't know what you think is gonna happen if yeah. you try. Yeah, pain. It is literally like maybe we could. And also, I'm all found dead in the hole. Unless, unless suggest. Oh, you're completely cutting out. We're gonna buy those earrings. Sorry. Can what? Can you repeat yourself? Okay. Also. Archibald said he bought those earrings for Octavia. How do you think she's going to feel if he suggests that? <laughs> oh, he's not going to. I just thought it'd be funny if he did. It would be uh, funny, but I, I understand. It would be yeah, hilarious, but I don't think it's going to work. No, no one's ready for Yasified Godfrey. Yasfried. I don't like Yasfried. Yasfried bad. Yasfried Maruki, however. <laughs> yes! Yes! It's more like... We Honestly, all at some point in the vacation, Octavia's gonna ask her if she wants to try on the earrings. Girl friendship. That man is not going to survive. <laughs> he's it's okay, he's he'll like, be reborn I, anew. <laughs> wow, the power Whoa. of boobs. <gasps> oh, wow. I wasn't prepared for that. Whoa. Anyway. Literally, like... Octavia, you're knocking on Mount Care's door. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Where am I? Valgir's door. Valgir. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Uh, oh, uh, hi. Eddie. Yeah. Gear finishes, uh, preening. <laughs> he did his hair nice. He's, his mullet is so fluffy. Hell yeah. Wow. Hell yeah. <laughs> <gasps> He's not wearing the headband either. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The sweat. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm embarrassed. Um. <laughs> oh. Val thinks he looks very handsome. Gare clearly mm -hmm. reciprocates. Octavia's like, Gare. you guys look so good. You guys look great. Thanks. The last- oh my god, the last time Val wore this outfit was when they did the drinking. Oh. Yeah! Yeah, Garrett has got kind of like a dopey smile on his face, like, ah, remember? <laughs> Val, Val's like, oh yeah, I got wasted, why? And he's like, I kind of fell in love with you that night, and Val was like, I will take the next one. Garrett's like, I can appreciate someone who can drink. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Keep up. That Val is that is why Val picked up this like Val picked up the skill to impress her soldiers so they wouldn't uh as like they when they would start drinking irresponsibly, she could drink them all under the table and walk in a straight line. Um <laughs> So nice. she's like, I did cultivate that skill on purpose. I didn't expect it to get me here though. Hey, Never know. You never know. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, Arnold and Amalthea make their appearance. Amalthea is wearing a floor-length, completely sparkly gown. Um, Hell yeah. She's, she's got, like, a tiara on her head. <laughs> she, she's kind of, like, gone so far that she's overdone it, and now she looks like a party city princess. But, like... That's good. Yeah. She's wearing all the bracelets she could find in the whole room, uh, except for the ones <laughs> that Ardle is also wearing. Um, oh! Yes. And he he looks like a little little Victorian noble boy. He's got a little, little yeah. cravat. He's got a little, oh. little vest. 
Um, not entirely <laughs> properly done. It's clear Amalthea just did her best based on what she assumes nobles do. Um, mm-hmm. but he he looks like he's feeling very fancy. You can hear him jingling as he runs towards you. Oh. <laughs> uh, Fuente oh. has to turn around for a second and like squeeze Gay's shoulder, and she mutters, "I'm gonna cry." Okay, so oh. Go ahead, go ahead. It's pretty cute. Uh, I don't want them to think I think it's bad. And then she turns back around and she takes a deep breath. (laughs) And she goes, Wow. You both look very nice. Why, thank you. We took everything in the whole room. (laughs) That looks about right. She does a little pose. Everything on her clinks. <laughs> well, loves her so much. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna save that interaction for later. Um, but no, 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 ominous. That that was a completely <coughs> oh, okay. different sidetrack. I just I looked at the support sheet. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but oh. Gare kind of looks, gives you all a once over, and says. Yeah, we we clean up pretty nice, huh? Yeah, we, we could pass for nobles. They're not gonna kick us out, right? Literally, no. if they did, we could just tell Klaus, and then they would get all fired. Well, so yeah, I guess. They seem I mean, nice. I, yeah, they seem nice. I wouldn't want to do that, but it's like literally that is the thing. Mm. Kind of, that's what happens with service jobs i see well we <coughs> not... octavia has a look of like service industry <laughs> <laughs> garrett and amalthia in the in the back of their heads like hmm being a bandit's kind of like doing a service <laughs> literally no <laughs> um but gare says well if i keep smelling lobster and or steak hanging around in the air any longer i'm gonna start gnawing at val's arm so, we should probably get going. Yeah, is Edwin still in his room? I think Edwin No, he like, he like, uh, uh, he ended up out there with everyone else at some point. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's he's just wearing his, he's just wearing, he's wearing his, uh, the clothes he got in Kidane. So just like, uh. clothes that aren't destroyed, that mm-hmm. are, uh, <laughs> comfortable for him. type outfit. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I drew it, but I'm not on my laptop, so I don't have it on hand. No, fair, fair. Fair. Fair enough. Fair, fair, fair. All right. Okay. So, you guys head onwards to your meal. Um, and I think that's actually a good place to stop because I don't want to get halfway caught up in... It's, mm-hmm. yeah, it's 11 p.m. here. Yeah, yeah it's I don't understand. We'll, we'll save the rest of the beach vacation discussions and supports and such. Um, and activities and activities yes there is wink, a wink, nudge, combat nudge. thing and also you know the other activities yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh i am doing this oh right. i did oh that's so that's so dumb i thought of that i can't i don't know if i want to say that out loud eh, fuck uh it. you o- did o- o- accept o- Octa- it o- octavia is really about to break like a really long virginity streak. Like, that's oh an old... Uh, Guinness Book of World car- Records, that, baby, let's that, go! That, <laughs> that, that, that card was issued a long time ago, and its expiration date's coming up. Anyway, uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, God, why am I here? Anyway. <laughs> Alright, here's the supports. Ardle does not have a support for Millicent. Oh, sorry. He's at. He has like a, a D with her. Millicent. Oh, poor oh. baby. Millicent oh. should have a higher one. I flipped them around by accident. Hold on. Millicent has like a C, cause she's like, oh, he's fucking smelly, you little guy. And Arl's yeah, like, baby. The, the monster. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's okay, baby. She is a monster. God, this she is so big. I don't know what she's doing. Uh, I don't. I literally. Cannot tell. <laughs> I don't. I have some comparing contrast I can do. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Clip Studio Paint, don't fail me now. Oh god, okay. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> oh, is it A? Ardal and Amalthea are A? Yes, are they, they been do a? have an A now. Yay! Aww. Freaking sibling. Amalthea's mm -hmm. like, oh, this kid is cool. Mm -hmm. I can train him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's correct, girl. In the fine art of you know, kind of be a little goofy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Beatrix literally is feels the same about us. <laughs> Wait. Beatrix is I need I oh, for some reason the rows and columns in this confuse me. I'm great with spreadsheets normally, but this one fucks me up all the time. Beatrix, uh, Beatrix feels this way about everyone. And everyone feels this way about Be Beatrix. Uh so there I'm getting a solid eh. Yeah, everyone's did we like, get, eh. did they supports got higher with Beatrix in term and Lars? Huh? Am I must did I scroll back way too far? No, I didn't. I think you did. No, Gare's support with Lars went up. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ah. He's coming down from his high. And by high I mean low. Oh. Wait. What? Wait a second. Millicent's support with Archibald went up. Oh! No, that's been here for a while. No, no it's it not. did go up. Snack oh! haver. <laughs> Snack haver. <laughs> Snack dispensary. Oh. Wow. I got mugged and it went up. Oh, wait. Damn. Is Merope now B with everyone? Was she not B with everyone before? Uh, I think she was. She was. Okay. Yeah, she was. What are the things that I'm missing? There's one other what big is... one that you're missing. Uh, yeah, Amalthea is C with Beatrix now. Um, wait, was Beatrix always a B with herself? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I believe. Yeah, she, she was. Yeah, yeah, she, she was. was. She was okay. She could be doing better. She knows it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only other thing <laughs> I see is the. Alica has an A with Ardal? This is true. Oh, why oh. is that? Arnold also doesn't have support with Alka, which He is looks funny. like baby Godfried. Yeah, he literally looks like a baby Godfried. Yeah. Does. He does yeah. look like baby. Who are his parents? Some random fucking people in the capital, dude. Yeah, his mommy mm. and daddy. Where that is they? literally yeah, all we know about Godfrey and Morobi. <laughs> <laughs> not not talking because of that secret baby Morobi threw away six years ago. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> that would be a twist and a half. Morobi, Morobi and Godfrey still have A supports about each other. So, like, they're just like that. Yeah, they're just no, odd. They, no, it's like, literally, they still... Feel it. They they <laughs> the feelings they have, are positive, they, but there's a there's they, a there's a blockage there. They they've got yeah. like a perpetual A with an ampersand after it. Like it's it it's like A uh, <laughs> Listen, I know I'm the reason why you can't trust men anymore, but <laughs> they have like their support is I should really do like emoji supports. I feel like that would be evocative. <laughs> But like, yeah. there's the emoji is like the, would, neutral smiley face, like the would, first would you emoji believe on that the they pad. Just, they were just putting oh. the uh, emoji kitchen link in one of the other chats. Go do it. Um. <laughs> but yes. Great timing, cause the uh legendary hero what thing just dropped what for f it? it's Yuri. Oh, oh it's Yuri. My like, least favorite oh, character in Fire Emblem. Yeah, I was gonna say the character. Oh. Really? Oh my bad. <laughs> because Guy he Dwyer because he's just Leon, been... but they made him not gay, <laughs> or like not uh not exclusively gay. I'm like, why would you steal Leon and then make him attracted to women? Yeah. You made Leon again, but then you his art is he straight or bi? He's bi. Oh. But like. He or both. I hate player sexuality in Fire Emblem so much. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, why and is so he just a makes... legendary? He's just a guy right? to me. Like, uh, I guess because he's the other house leader, right? Like, we have legendary yeah. Claude, Dimitri, yeah, and Edelgard. Yeah, we have regular versions of them. Yeah, and we have regular versions of Yuri. Do we? Yeah, so. Yes! Why? He has one of the most <laughs> OP skills ever. Literally, why have I never seen this man before in my life? He can tell. He can exchange places with another ally up to four squares away and then move. Maybe I'm using such low tier units that Jesus I don't even Christ. encounter the meta. <gasps> yeah, Yuri's Yuri's like uh, green skill is insane. I I bet his no, legendary. I don't play that game it. anymore. <laughs> I bet yeah, his, I <laughs> his legendary still has it, actually, or an upgraded version of it. Um. <laughs> God, we ended early today, but that's okay. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Our early, though, is 11. We're going to get into things. We're gonna yeah, he has well play. In he has well play. Uh, but also... What also happened Well play allows strange. unit and target ally to swap places from a range of three. Mm. What was that, Rand? I was just gonna say, also during stream, I got fucking Octavia's grandparents' commission finished from TMI. Uh -huh. It was Ooh. so good. I linked it, but I'll link it again. Because <laughs> it's... It owns. It yes, owns. Please, please. I feel like... Oh, it was up here. Oh, so good. So good. Here, I'll put it on the screen. Yeah. Hold on. I gotta open it. Octavia grandparents moments. Yay! Yay! Chimeris Yay. and Aurelia. Just a male wife and his girl boss. Yes. Just a male wife noble and his girl boss. <laughs> yeah. They're kind of scrunkly to me. I know! Honestly, if I think of more a right fic for them, I will let you know. They just, I like, think it's jingle just in writing. If it's your characters, it's... Oh, yeah, it's, it's just writing. It's just fiction. <laughs> it's just fiction. <laughs> You're just it's, creating. It's just fiction. <laughs> it's just fiction. But also, them heart. Them heart emoji. They're so cute. Get mm. them. <gasps> Good for them. Honestly, like, this is probably a point where they're not... Well, Camaris is definitely in love with her, but Aurelia isn't quite yet. But she'll get she'll there. She'll get there. Mm -hmm. She'll wear her down. <laughs> no, like it's, her. it's basically... It's like her realizing, oh, this isn't just us partnering because the state mandates it. It can be an actual partnership. Oh, That's kind of cute. Uh, I, yeah. I, I'm getting distracted by the emoji kitchen. I just need you guys to see that. What was he cooking? <laughs> what was he cooking? Oh my god! This is, nope. this is Reginald the Spud to me. This is Reginald the Spud. <laughs> this is what you see when you look down into the jar. Yeah, literally. <laughs> He's even yellow. <laughs> Aww. I like emoji kitchen. Alright, so... We'll meet this time next week. Next week, I will be teaching camps at my work. So uh -huh. I expect to come home absolutely exhausted because uh -huh. I will be working from 7.30 a.m. until tabletop time. Um, oh, God. Yeah. Ugh. With no breaks. So uh, if I'm off my game next week, sorry. <laughs> It's you're forgiven, girl. All good. All I know good. I was off my game today too. I'm more awake now, but yeah, I think it's the f the fourth the fourth fudge. <laughs> the fourth fudge square <laughs> did it. Yeah, it, I just needed another one. <laughs> but um, yeah. And then once we the once we get done with all the uh, quote unquote side content, mm. we're in the final it's couple time. rounds. Not, yeah. not like final couple sessions, but uh, I have a very distinct number of battles left. Unless you guys get really sidetracked mm -hmm. somewhere, which happens. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh no. Once you get into Belhara, I don't like endings. No, it's not going to be ending like soon. It will end eventually. Oh, yeah, Edwin, slay. Oh, Edwin. Oh, Edwin, your body. <laughs> 
Oh, Edwin, your body. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, boy. Crunchy. <laughs> Crump. He's having a time a little bit. Mm-hmm. Da -da -da -da. He's a little crunchy, but that's okay. Maybe some lobster will fix him. <laughs> Didn't you say <laughs> earlier today Edwin's favorite food is, like, seafood? Yeah. So lobster like, will fix him. like yesterday or something. <laughs> lobster will yeah. help. It'll help. Yeah. He's having, like, the fact that we are at the ocean is, like, giving him an, an emotion, so I was making Ooh. conviction checks, and he did not pass them. Oh, oh sweetheart. No, Edwin! Holds him. <gasps> oh. Also, I can send you that letter. Oh, yes, please. Please. Um. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, so, next time, be prepared for fine dining. Date night? The beach, Ardle, mill scented clothes, <laughs> and more. Weird <laughs> tension between Marupi and Godfrey. Yeah, God, the anthrax. <laughs> anthrax smell, and more. Mm -hmm. All right. Next time. Good night, gamers. Thank you so much for coming. Good night, yeah, everybody. Good night.